at uh, the title of the court case, I had to change on the docket for the government right. website. It <laughs> did claim Erwin Dundee versus the cunt EMS who fucked up my face. <laughs> okay, thank you for clarifying. <laughs> Is there something wrong with that? <laughs> uh, it just had right. to be reworded, Mr. Dundee. Oh, well, well, I mean, he is the dumb kind who fucked up more face. He deserved to be named and right. shamed. All right, well, that's that's the matter at bar today, is whether or not he is, in fact, the uh, <clears throat> dumb cunt EMS what fucked up your facey. <laughs> well, look at me facey, mate, and she's cooked. Anyhow, the relief. Uh... Firing the individual is that's not going to happen because the court does not have the uh, ability to do that and will not be doing that. And then uh, Mr. Dundee is suing for the uh, amount of one million dollars. Uh, was that uh, was that yen or was that yen? What kind of dollar was that? Uh, uh, a million yen? dollar he does. You know, how dollar you doing, mate? Yeah. That's, I think that's Australian, which is like two cents American, Your Honor. All right, that's fine. Uh, so a million dollar he does at the current exchange rate. Yeah. Just knows your t-shirts is douche. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, that is what we have before us today. I'm going to paraphrase I'm this. Glad you can and, read. To to put yeah. it in in less run on, yeah. poorly grammatized Australian, uh, Mr. Dundee is suing uh, the uh, the defendant for damages to his face via a helicopter blade. I'm amazed it's made it to court. Too. Yeah, that sounds thing. about right, mate. Who, me? I'm Maxie. Oh, yeah. Surprised a lot of people are still here. All right, so, uh, now that that has been done, if we are ready to proceed. Oh, yeah, send it, mate. Uh-huh. All right, so, Mr. Dundee, as I was saying before, uh, before High Chief Justice of the World, Labar, went ahead and informed me I had misstepped. What we will be doing now is giving our opening statements. As a plaintiff, you, sir, are entitled to give the first opening statement. So... Uh, what you're going to do is come on into the center of the room here and address the whole court. And it's 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 like an opening. So what you're going to do is you're going to kind of paraphrase uh, what your case is going to be about. All right? Good day, cunts. My name's Uncle Dundee and that dickhead over there, fucking Vought. So fucking I was with Kiki Vought, Vought over there, that beautiful Sheila Vought over there, Vought. And fucking she was just new in the city, Vought, you know, ever since the fucking... You know, ever since the cities, you know, been changed, it was just testing things out, seeing how things were going for it. And fucking, we were fucking in the car, fucking doing some mad little skits, mate. Fucking look, oh yeah, nah, mate. Fucking, it had them little fucking spinny wheels. Fucking going, rah, rah, fucking sending it, mate. Fucking, we were going everywhere, mate. So, whoop, and fucking, what, yo, so what Kiki did, what she fucking, I'm scared. Send it off a fucking jump, what, what, near where, you know, no fucking um what's it called um sending off you know where uh where fucking uh, moon you know mr moon started his one million dollar race down a little sour vault <laughs> and then uh, what he did what he you know got old sheila over there she she sent it and the car landed on the roof and she bloody fallen into the river and fucking left me on top of a roof fort. And since, you know, I'm fucking, you know, I'm Uncle Dundee, I'm not bloody sporter man over here, look bloody crocky. Uh, you know, I had the call fucking EMS and the fucking, the dumb cunt look legit what? It took look 40 fucking minutes to look, or fucking ran out of fucking smoke hose what cunt. Fucking all starving to go fucking watch another episode of Bond or Rescue, mate. And fucking all chicken palmy fucking soup in the fridge for it, and this fucking dickhead ward over there the one in the blue fucking suit was taking his fucking time for it. and so fucking what yeah nah so fucking what he did next he fucking came in his truck even though I told him I'm on a fucking roof I'm like what are you gonna do there you dumb cunt I'm on a fucking roof for you on the ground on your dumb fucking truck mate he's like oh shit yeah nah mate what are you I'm a bloody dumb cunt and so fucking I'll hop back up on the roof or stand on the car or wave him down and fucking miss the fucking Silly Billy over here, and he's fucking cooked dead. Fucking starts landing the chopper, and that fucking minute, mate, fucking thush! Fucking me head fucking falls off, apparently. And fucking old mate stews it and fucking stows it back on together. Fuck, without warning, mate, he just fucking comes on down, Vort, and fucking just smacks me with the blade, mate. Just fucking, like, whoop, fucking dush, mate. Fucking just, you know, and fucking, uh, as you can see, oh, more beautiful God. faces. Fuck. 
This is oh, not man. face paint, as everyone is saying. These are more real bones. Fucking it hurts. Everyone keeps That's fucking looking at me, mate. Everyone. Yeah. That's not possible. Taking on a perjury. Look at his face. Mate, everyone, everyone fun keeps making. See, everyone's making fun of me, I'm mate. Fuck it all used to. Everyone used to take me yeah. fucking seriously, what, mate? <laughs> everyone uh, took me seriously. Now uh, everyone right. makes fun of me. All right. Everyone makes right. fun of me, what? And then now fucking emotional and shit and fucking someone said oh, I just had to be stressed. So I'm stressed out as well now. I'm fucking, you know, all my glee fucking. Not even Kiki wants to go for a bit of a fuck now. She's even denying me. Fucking. Yeah. yeah. That's desperate. I mean, that's a little low. Wow, that's, that's uh, yeah, yeah, I guess he's all forever alone, alone no now. Good. Fucking. Your Honor. A yes, Ms. Chanel. Since I've been mentioned by name, in this statement, can I just add my two cents really quickly as a witness? Um, it, it'll take it'll take ten Objection, seconds. Your Honor. N no, uh, no, no, um, you're not allowed. Shut up. You shut up. <laughs> no, you shut Mr. Up. Dundee, does no, that you. conclude? Order in my court. No. Fucking. And so, look, my face is in pain, and all he does is laugh about it, mate. He just laughs at it. Look, oh, look what I did to your face, mate. Do you see more face, Your Honor? Why? I just. Yes, I do, something. in fact, see your face. On a scale uh, of one to ten, how fucked is it? <laughs> I think uh, uh, how fake is it? Um, yeah, Your Honor. The court I... is reserving judgment until later. Yeah. Thank you, Quantum. Can I add something to that? Uh, Open me no, face. This is opening statements. This is not a child. Yeah, uh, fucking what you turn. Damn. Right. All right. Um, All right. All right, Mr. Dundee, I'm assuming that concludes your opening argument. Uh, bloody, uh, yeah, no, nah, he fucked me face, and now yeah, I want, yep, me, I want yep, me million yep. dollars, yeah, Mr. can I right. don't have yep. it now? All right, yeah, no, go. Why go, not? Go stand, because we have to do the case, all right? This was the opening statement. Well, explain what right? happened. I know, you went too damn far. Normally, well, you just say, hey, I'm here to prove whatever. that this guy over here screwed my face mm. up. And then I explained that to you, Mr. Dundee, what an opening statement is. In yeah, well, what did me opening filed. statement? Mm -hmm. Max, is his eyeball falling out? Oh, okay. Is that right? Right, 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 when it was more than likely that he caused these injuries on his own. And I'd like to add, I saw Mr. Dundee the other day, and he did not look anything like this. He looked completely normal. Yeah, no, fucking go on. Where's your pictures? Oh, right. Wait, is that all they had to say? What? Order in the court. Sorry. All right. The court has heard opening statements. This is the point in the, uh, in the hearing, Mr. Dundee, where you, the plaintiff, get to present your case, sir. So... My question to you, sir, do you have any uh, witnesses or physical evidence that you wish to put before the court at this time? Physical evidence, more face, uh, witness, uh... I'm a witness. Hey, him. I mean, her. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Ooh, uh, Mr. Dundee, you did not, uh, you did not submit any witnesses, uh, to the witness list prior to this particular hearing. Well, you didn't say I had to. Yes, For the did. love of God. All right. Oh, hold on. I know one guy. Oi, fucking well, Steve. Are you still on the radio, boss? Wait. You're, you're on the radio. You're on the radio, Steve. What is this? Turn that off. Well, why not? Why not? Not on the radio. <laughs> I'm seeing me mates fucking. He he saw me on the roof. Fucking. Oh, shit. Mikey Mergen right. saw me no, on the no, roof Mr. as well. Mr. Dundee, we'll what I'm saying to you is, is you had ample opportunity to put these witnesses yeah, Mikey, you're on the radio. On your witness list. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, for the love of god. Oh, I was having right. me witnesses in town. I was a witness to the whole thing. Uh, yeah, she was wrong. there. Yes. Come with me for a moment. Look at the court right. recess room. Court is in recess. Oh, what have I done? I've had what the the hell hell is this court case? You're doing great. Oh my god. What the fuck? Hey, what are you wearing? All right, Mr. Dundee. Yeah. I'm going to allow your witnesses at this time. Hey. Okay. Well, first one will be Kiki because she was there. Yes. All right. That's right. Ms. Chanel, please approach the witness stand. Be sworn <coughs> in by Judge Labar. I would be. I would be. I would now. love to. Your grace. Wait, are we officially Ms. not allowed to object this? Shut up. No, you can't, I, I, Kermit. Oh, for the love of God, everybody shut the hell up. I'll I'll run this damn courtroom. Thank you very much. 
now. <laughs> Mrs. Nope. Steele, feel free to go it's ahead and object to any witness as they come forward. Objection. On what Shut up. On the grounds that she was not properly listed, listed as a witness. Oh, I didn't uh, know that. Several days, he had several days to list her. Uh, I let him, I informed him multiple times of okay. this. I let him know that his case was not filed correctly. He has not paid attention to anything. It seems like this is cash grab. Your honor, damn. It didn't get accepted. Well, I mean, it didn't get, you say it wasn't filled correctly, but bitch, we're in the fucking courtroom, so it got accepted. <laughs> yeah. I object, I counter object to Kaden on account of the fact that her head is like an IMAX screen. Her forehead okay. is too large. Your honor. Miss Chanel, quiet. Okay. Why? Thank you, Death Prophet. Stupid. Uh, standing in my courtroom, counter objecting, which is not a thing. All right. How Ooh. dare you? Well, how dare you, ma'am? Now, quiet. All right. Mr. Dundee, on what basis is Ms. Chanel coming up to offer testimony today? She was the one who put me on the roof. She was the one who actually put you on the roof. Yeah. Did she witness at all the incident that messed up your face? Yeah, so essentially, she, uh, what she had done for is that she fucking jumped off the roof like a madman, survived, and then she was, uh, waiting down there on the floor fucking just chilling, and then she fucked off, right. you know, just up the road, and then she saw me get fucked in my face and saw me in the hospital, didn't you, Kiki? That's exactly right. You know, you were just right, in the canal. All right, hold on, everybody quiet. Chanel, you are prepared yeah. to testify today that you did, in fact, witness uh, Mr. Dundee's accident. Uh, absolutely, Your Honor. <laughs> yes. He's lying. He I will wasn't swear there. under the oath of the seven or whatever. Yes. Hmm. Okay, Your Honor, can I have one more thing, please? You may. Fuck. He did not Max state any of that in his opening claim. And, I'm sorry, in his uh, statement claim. Whatever. Yes, I did. I said I was with KK. Claim. Statement of claim. He said that he was on the roof with her. He did not say anything that she had witnessed it. He did not list her as a witness. I no, mean, I, I say like she just... was on the roof with I, me. Excuse me, I'm speaking, sir. Yeah, and I don't excuse care. Did, did or say she You're was on, on the roof? I'm not going to deal with this. Shut up. Okay. Go ahead, he did not. He did not say that she had uh, witnessed it. Um. And then, you know, it doesn't really make sense that she quote walked up the road and could still see everything. This seems to me. It's hard to miss like, a fucking she's, helicopter she's in the possibly sky. possibly going to perjure herself, Your Honor, and I don't want to put her in that position. I All right. will perjure myself however I want, and whether or not I perjure see, myself in the privacy see? of my own home she just is none of your business. <laughs> she just admitted to perjury. Uh, All right, what? here's what we are going to do. The truth, I counter object. Be quiet. Yes, the you truth, The truth around Ms. Chanel's statement is something that uh, will be at bar. So... For, I'm going to allow this witness on yes! very limited grounds. <gasps> Mr. Dundee, uh, your questioning is only to be around your actual accident and what Ms. Chanel may or may not have witnessed. You step outside of that line of questioning, and I'm going to send this witness on her way and strike all of her testimony from the record. Mrs. Steele, you are free to cross-examine this witness as you would any other witness. We're making this up on the go. That so she just has to confirm what I character. say, and then I just have to back up what ah. she says. This can't go wrong. A story can't change. All right. Because she's making it up as it goes. What is happening here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Wagon, wait, Kiki. quick question. You went into recess, yeah, but you didn't bring out oh. any food. What the fuck Here? was that about? Inside the uh, glass. Okay. The glass. Yeah, there's a vending machine in the back. If I you swear you're in just a minute. Oh, shit, okay. But not right now. Get back over here. Well, we out of You're about to have to question your witness. No, you're fine. Dundee, oh, okay. So. I got to swear her in first, Your Honor. Yeah, she needs to be sworn in. Kiki, will you please raise your left hand? Do you solemnly swear or affirm that you will tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you RuPaul under pains and penalties of perjury? I, yes, I do, Your Grace. Oh. The uh, witness has been sworn in, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Dundee, uh, keep your questions to anything pertaining to your incident and nothing else. Did you, uh, were you, were you in the car with me when you fucking sent it off that mad jump for it and fucking, you know, we landed on the fucking roof? You were with me, right? 
Ian and I, Ian and I, yeah, we were out there yeah. on our way to have some chicken blarmies down at the server Drogo. Yeah, and we yeah. sent up the dunny with some smoke of Siggy Blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And, uh, yeah, and then I sent it onto the roof, correct? Hey, sent it onto the roof, you and me, oh, yeah, nah, fucking yeah, nah, body, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, nah, nah, fucking yeah, same yeah, smith, yeah, mate, yeah, yeah, fucking yeah, body, yeah, I, yeah, fuck yeah, yeah, more. Nah, yeah, yeah, fucking body, I, boy, fucking you, uh, you fucking jumped off and sent it into the water in the canals, didn't you? Yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, nah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so you were from the Hold on, Mr. Dunn. Nah, nip, 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 hold on. So what has just happened, Mr. Dundee, is uh, Mrs. Steele has objected to a question you have just uh, you have just asked. She's saying that you are leading the witness. Do you wish to offer any kind of a rebuttal? Miss that confirming if he did what he did. I mean, she did. What? <laughs> All I said, right, so I'm just saying, what... well, she's just saying yes or no. She's confirming what I'm asking. Right, but in the way that you're asking the question is, is considered leaning. I said, did you do this? She says, yes. How am I changing yes, it? Yes, but you're just... All right. You're, you're... All right. Order in my court. Order in my courtroom. Sorry, I was just trying to... Now, in this instance, Mr. Dundee is actually correct. He is he is putting out a simple yes or no question to put out a baseline <laughs> fact from which he can continue I'm to ask other smart. questions. So, I'm going to overrule this particular objection. Mr. Dundee, you may ask that question. Right, so... After we landed on the roof, you fucking, yeah. you jumped and you sent it into the water, right? And you, you didn't fucking hurt yourself. And so you just fucking step, kept swimming in the water, didn't you, right? Yeah. Yeah, so just, yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah. The way that he's wording it, Your Honor, is leading. He's asking her, right, that's correct, you did that. He should be asking her what she did instead of right. leading but her into the question. She said the fucking answer. yes. But he's because leading her leading into the answer. All right, I think what we have here is a bit of a cultural difference in how questions are asked. Uh, I have noted that Mr. Dundee says, all hey, right, yeah, right, out. yeah, right. Mr. Dundee, you are out of order, sir. Ah! <laughs> I saw that. I see everything. Ah. Don't be flipping off opposing counsel in my courtroom, sir. Oh, she's I will fucking have the judge annoyed. Here slap. Oi, I'll Oi. have the judge over here slap you in irons. I will do it. And I will he send you, I'll, I'll send it straight to the damn penitentiary. You understand me, sir? Oh, shit, he's oh. going to send it. Well, oh, you said, nah, you said I wasn't going to bloody jail, mate. What's this about? I said... I said you could, based on your actions. Fuck so me, be dead. on your best behavior, sir. Fine. Now, I need you to do me a favor, Mr. Dundee. Try to limit the yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, right, right, yeah, right, nah, yeah, right. Oh, yeah, nah, uh, mate, yeah. Yeah, yeah do, nah, do me yeah. a favor. Try to limit that as best you can. Yeah, nah, uh, mate. Mr. Steele, please do understand that this man is Australian and those vocal tics, that I, I, I've heard many Australians. That's pretty normal, actually. I will do my best, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Dundee, you may continue with your line of questioning. All right, so what question was I up to? So did more question go through? Or did you tell it to fuck off? No, no. So, uh, Ms. Chanel, I believe the question yes. uh, last posed to you was whether or not you, uh, once you had deposited the car upon the roof, yes. if uh, you had absconded from that roof and into the river. I'm more like asking, was she in the area? I, yes, your grace, uh, after I had sent the car onto the roof, I prescribed, I prescribed it into the canals. Okay, boy. so you're in the area, yeah? Yes, absolutely, with a clear, with a clear sight line to the roof. Okay, perfect, more next question answered. Right, okay, so when the helicopter came and you were waiting for me, what did you see when the helicopter was about to land on the roof? Well, after I had force for free sconded onto the canals and I looked back up, I would say that uh, up until I um, saw the helicopter pulling away, your face appeared to me to be its usual leathery catcher's mitt uh, state. But upon swimming in the canals, I could hear you screaming either, Ow, me leggies! Or ow, me faces! I wasn't sure which one. Oh, you could hear me in agony, yeah? Yes, I could hear you in agony, absolutely. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, okay. Well, um... Yeah, yeah. Seems good, boss. All right, so, uh, no further questions for this witness then, Mr. Uh, Mr. Dundee? Yeah, that's it for now, boss, I guess. Oh, all fucking right, Kiki, you, you want to go down to the beach and get a chicken palmy later? All right, all right. All right. Oh, uh, fuck, go, I love... Yeah, nah, nah, go, yeah, go I love to have a chicken blarb. Go stand over by your spot there, Mr. Dundee. Allow Mrs. Steele well, to come across. We're just asking. 
Okay. Oh. What, what was that? I don't know. What was what? what oh, heard a loud, loud ringing in my ears. I apologize. Yeah, oh, and that dude. <laughs> oh, so fucking horrible, isn't it? Miss Chanel, what do you do for work? What do I do for work? Your mm -hmm. fucking dad. Oh, yeah. oh, oh shit! I apologize, Your Grace. I apologize. I allowed my personal conflicts <laughs> to get in the way. Uh, for work, <laughs> I am the owner and proprietor oh, of fuck. Kiki Chanel's Organic Clothing Incorporated Illustrated All Rights Reserved Trademarked Copyrighted 2019. Oh shit! Okay, um, Chanel, can you describe your criminal record for me? Oh. Um, I'm not at liberty to discuss that. Yes, you are. You are. I... It's mostly clear there's been a few misunderstandings with the law. Your Honor, uh, would be would I be able to have one of you look it up to just read it to the court? I, I don't have the power to do so. Uh, I want to object, but I'm trying to think how I can do well, a silly it. You one. want me to read to the court? Uh, uh, just the top, all the trials. So you'd be wise yeah. to say yeah. relevant, yeah. but oh, Dundee's not that smart. Dundee uh, isn't that I smart, mean, I can't I call that out. I criminal record? Ticket. I have a parking yeah, ticket and a speeding ticket. Uh, one moment, maybe. Your Honor. We'll see. Oh, uh, I fucking objection, mate. Right? Fucking. Uh, well, on what grounds, Mr. Dundee? Oh, well, well, I had to give Adam more questions to the roof. What the fuck does her criminal record got to do with the roof? This is what is known as a cross examination, sir, uh, during which the uh, cross examiner, that is uh, Mrs. Steele, is allowed to what is called assassinate your witness. That's being. F that's unfair. No, it's it's uh, it calls into question the validity, the whether or not she can be trusted to Ooh, be telling the truth. In here. Okay. Oh, well, if she gets to ask different questions, and I get to ask different uh, questions he, too. Uh, not not Dundee, oh go, go sit back, go stand back. Uh, okay, okay, boy. Will... Mr. Dundee, yeah. yes, Mr. Right. Dundee, I will throw this case out right now. What is that? Oh. Now you will have a chance to what is known as redirect your witness. That means that you can ask her questions oh, yeah. inside of the scope of what Mrs. Steele is asking her. So if Mrs. Steele is asking her things that are that are character driven, etc., so on and so forth, you can point out. Uh, you can ask her to point out things that would be a plus to her character. Like I don't know that she goes and volunteers at the see. animal I, shelter, etc., so on and so forth. Understand? Oh, I, I know. Hey, I'll guess. So, okay, you can You're on. You want the top five? Oh, uh, yeah, use the top five, call, please. All right. The top five charges. Yeah, because resisting EMS arrest there. times mm -hmm. 28. Good. Uh, <clears throat> reckless evading times 37. Oh, my God. Ricky number. Driving Check. on a suspended. There's so many people here. How many people 22. do we have here? That's impressive. I Assault object. with a deadly weapon. Huh. And I got our first bit. Last but not least, driving while intoxicated, Your Honor. I object. <gasps> I object, Your Grace. I object. Your Honor, those are the key numbers. I, permission I to treat this witness as hostile, Your Honor, based Granted. on her previous interaction with me. I object. Fucking, I'm object. proud of you drinking and driving, getting that oil, getting that record up there. There were a lot of moving parts, okay? Miss Chanel, are you intoxicated? Am I intoxicated? Are you currently what? intoxicated? Am I currently up, intoxicated? Are okay. you currently pregnant? Oh, oh fuck me! That is tight forever! Yes or no, Miss Chanel? You answer Wait. yes or no, and then I'll I answer yes or no. Hey, what's happening? No, you're not Keith. pregnant? Then no, I'm not intoxicated. Oh, yeah, boss, how we going? Your Honor, she's I'm good, her, her answer based on my answer. We got one, two, uh, three, Chanel, four, five, right. six, seven, yes, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five! Nearly an entire server! If we were on thirty-two slots, but now we have more than thirty-two slots. Just, oh, we got even more. We got even more now. Big no. time. Were no. you intoxicated when you were no. driving that vehicle? That half, no. Less than half the server. Yeah. The we roof? still have more than 32 uh, slots out there. There's a certain thing called gravity. And what that means is that when something goes in the air, as long as it's within Earth's gravitational field, it comes back down. And why did it go in the air, Miss Chanel? Is it because you were intoxicated, ma'am? Is it because I was intoxicated? No, believe it or not, alcohol doesn't cause vehicles to fly. Drivers do. So why are you the telling me? Because I launched it off the pagoda. Okay, can we, why did you do that? Can, him can out? we get this guy to stop typing so freaking loud? We can all hear it. Who, who's typing? It's, it's somebody over there. Like in it's like an old day 62. It, it. Um, okay. Uh, Thank you. So, Sorry. That, yeah. Okay, so uh, why did I launch it off the pagoda? Yes. 
Yes. I was Wait, trying Adam's to in merge into the left-hand lane, and there was a very aggressive driver, so I wanted to pass along a little message as I cut in front of him, but wasn't aware that the pagoda was right there. And what was that message? The message was, get the fuck out of my way, or I'm going to run you off the road back and launch my car the pagoda. Okay, are you violent, ma'am? Uh, no. On not 56 Why would you attempt to pass that message along to a man who was driving then? Because I'm a strong, oh, Tom, independent businesswoman and a single mother, and I need so to So make... you find it appropriate to scream at random people on the streets, is that correct? Did I ever say that I was screaming? What was this going to do with the roof and the helicopter? Did I ever say that I was cussing? Mr. Dundee, please keep your interjections to, uh, objections. Objection! Uh, and feel f on what grounds, Mr. Dundee? What was this going to do with the roof? So you're objecting based on relevance. I guess. Is that what it is? All right. Yes, that, that's what you're doing, Mr. Mr. Dunn. Uh, you, you uh, my rebuttal would be that I am asking your questions leading up to how they got into the roof, Your Honor. All Plus character. right. Mm, you've already done... Okay, so character, the why, court why has already heard, me? but I why fail to see how me? getting on the roof no, has anything to do again. with, uh, <laughs> with the hell right. of No, why would it well, so on our side? My next on question was going shop. to be if they were running from the police. I believe that they were up there for a reason. They should. They didn't have any... Uh, it was private property. They didn't have any reason to be up there. Why were they up there? I mean, this we whole thing seems to have objection. been caused by their own cognizance. Your Honor. All right. Okay, I'm going to overrule the objection at this time, but Mrs. Steele, you are on a that very, mean? very tight leash. Yes, yeah. I understand. Where you belong, you fucking dog. Miss. Oh, I apologize. Oh, I apologize. God. I apologize. Yeah. That Your was Honor, conduct yourself appropriately in my courtroom, I, I ma'am. Or I'm going to ask. She's going to get this case fucking thrown out, and, and I'm going to be so pissed because oh, Milton no, can win me money me, here. Mr. Snow. I, oh, okay. my God. I'm sorry. Honor, I apologize. I apologize. I am not. No. Okay. This is hot. So, uh, was I cussing at the driver? No. Was I saying, screaming at the driver? No. Did I say anything to the driver? No. Was I fleeing from the police? No. What else do you have? Huh? All right. A thick fucking forehead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Dundee, you are out of order, sir. You look shit in every pair of trousers like I see you in. I just fucking Hi, everyone. I'll be caught. What? <laughs> Matt Damon for the win. Thank uh, you for the Mr. Twitch Prime. So you look fit in every pair of trousers I see you in. That was a good one. A. G. I suffered trauma. I can't remember. I do not what? recall. Okay, what oh kind of God. was it? This is cool. Guys uh, in the fucking Panto. here. This is great. Hey, what color was it? Hello, Teddy. Um, aqua. Okay. How many doors did it have? Uh, the standard number that a Panto has. Which is? Two. <laughs> okay. Uh, what building did you guys land on top of? Where is it located? Uh, it's located on the windward side of the pagoda. Okay. I didn't actually what ask the landlord what the building was. Okay, well, you think you would remember, considering you're a witness. Do you know the crossroads? Yeah, uh, well, <clears throat> here's the thing. I'm not an architect and I'm not a city planner, so when I send a car off a pagoda going 105 miles an hour in the middle of the night, I don't actually have time to view the passing addresses as we come to land. So. Okay, so you were speeding. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, obviously. Why, why were you speeding? Because I had to pull in front of the person who had cut me off. Fuck. <laughs> okay, but why? Why what? <laughs> why did you have to pull in front of them? To send them a message. Oh, Jesus Christ, okay. So you don't remember what building he was on top of, but you do remember you were at the canals. Uh, approximately, yes. if you had to guess, yeah. about Dundee. where were you? About where were you, uh, let's say, in res retrospect of Pillbox Medical? About how far away? I mean, any other player could see it. So. In, first of all, you use the word retrospect. I don't think that word means what you think it I means. I don't care so, what it means. Well, then you need to Damn clarify it. your question and use the correct okay. words. I'm trying to figure out where you were. You okay. seem to not know. Oof. Well, allow me to parabola it for you. Okay, thanks. Uh, so you wanted to know that 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 day, that's a good incident, point. How far now, I got a bit of a lip. Medical? Sure, yeah, I'm trying to gauge where you were. Excuse me. We were by the pagoda. I don't know what that is. Where you is that? You don't know what a pagoda is? A gazebo? 
Okay, oh, can we? Find the one at the uh, near the pink cage. Dude, how many people are in there now? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four,
I can answer that. I can answer that. All right, go ahead. All well, right. Wait, wait, wait. I, I'm well, sorry. One second. That's gonna be a whole other question. I'm sorry. I want. I want to hear the judge real quick, if that's okay. All right. Wait. wait. I'm going to. No, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I apologize because okay. okay. this this actually is a very good objection and a a quite good rebuttal. I'm going to overrule the objection at this time. Ms. Chanel, you may answer Oh my question. god, are you serious? <laughs> uh, okay, I'm wait. sorry, Your Honor, go ahead. Why, is our Lord main, is our Lord main good or bad? I'm sorry, Your Honor, I'm sorry. Did I, so did I win that so one the, or what? So the question was, how did I, how the did I, was, why was I in the canal and he wasn't in the canal? Bad, why, bad yeah, exactly. Fuck! Yeah, a really easy answer for you there, one word, <laughs> seatbelts. <laughs> yep. Wait, I'm sorry. Right. Wait, hang on. I, was, so, I wasn't wearing mine and he was. <laughs> Yeah. One second. <laughs> All right. Nope. You're fine, Mr. Boy, this guy here ain't even taking this shit seriously. I want him fucking out. Is that, am, I, am I a mockery? Am I a clown? Your Honor, you am said I, one right. more time, All and right. he is Order continuing. In Order my in goodness. my courtroom, Mr. DeLaw. Do you have any further questions? This is great. Right. This court guy's way better than I expected it to be. No, no Your Honor. All right, then I, step I, I, back. I, 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 <laughs> I ask, control uh, yourself. Get some composure, man. What's wrong with you? May I ask one more question, Your Honor? <sighs> you may. Oh. You may. That, by the way, Kiki wasn't yeah, even here. He fucking logged off. For, uh, <laughs> Mr. Dundee to possibly get down from the roof? Uh, absolutely not. Okay, there were so no he... ladders or stairways or anything else that I could see. Okay, so after... I'm sorry, Your Honor, can I ask one more question? Oh my god. Is this a whole other round of questioning or what? Don't I have rights? Well, I mean, I have further questions about how her injuries... Um, and what she sustained, considering I she said that she. See, no, you know what? At this point, I fail to see how Mrs. How Miss Chanel's uh, injuries are in any way, shape, or form relevant to the matter at bar today. Hey, you Are you telling us a gossip? Yeah, fuck no, up. This one you cannot rebut. I am the judge, and I'm saying that we we're done with this. Okay, no further questions. Pulling it straws. All right, Mr. Yeah, Dundee, tell do you wish to redirect? Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, oi, fucking Kiki, what? Yeah. Did you see the yep. look at his face when he chopped me head off? I did, yep. Yeah, okay. what did it look like? Uh, smug. It looks smug. That is, uh, I'm gonna sustain that. That objection is sustained, and uh, that question and the resulting answer are stricken from the record. Hey, I don't know. <laughs> All right, Ms. Good Chanel, job, man. you Good may job. step down with the court's thanks. Thank you. Remember, Watch out for that uh, glass oh, there. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you use code Kiki Chanel at KikiSorganicClothing.com, you can save 6% on all clothing items. Oh, yeah, that's so you smart. Smart. that sounds smashing that does. My courtroom, ma'am. Uh, no, no, sorry, Your Honor. This isn't completely unbeatable. Yeah, damn it. All right. Mr. Dundee, do you have any further witnesses to call forward today, sir? That damn fuck over there. I'm sorry. To whom are you referring? The EMS bloke. All right, Mr. Ford, please step forward. Be sworn in by Judge Labar. I love uh, Blake as a dumb Honor, character. Yes. Am I able to object to this? He also didn't list him as a witness. Uh, he is not necessary. He, he doesn't need to be uh, listed as a witness, uh, Mr. Steele. This oh, is he even I knew that. Point, he can he can call the defendant to uh, to ask questions. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I right, miss Ford. Would you please raise your left hand, M Mr. Dundee. Please step back. Wait uh. till he's been sworn in. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that you will tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? If I actually win a million, I know I'm not going to win a million dollies, but if they do it for memes, did. that'd be so funny. Uh, yes, I do. It's been sworn in, Your Honor. Thank you very much, Judge Labar. Oi! Mr. Dundee, you may begin your questioning. Did you fuck up my face? Uh, objection, uh, <laughs> speculation, and, and leading. Um, Badgering. I failed to... All right, I fail to see how it is either leading or badgering. <laughs> uh, the judge is with me. But speculation. Um, 
On what grounds are you looking at speculation, Mrs. Steele? He's asking. He's asking him. I'm to trying to do this poorly. And I'm winning. He's not uh, equipped to deal with that. He is not a doctor. He is simply an EMS. I didn't say if he could treat more face. I said did he fuck up more face? Again, and that's speculatory. I mean, that's leading him well, into I'm a question yes or no. that he might not know the medical answer to. Did he put these scars? Actually, no, I won't wait until what you say. Mr. Dundee, can you rephrase your question for me, please? Did the helicopter you will fucking Why? kill a little bloody nice idiot? Hat. Makes it look Did good you, in court. When landing on the roof, put those blades into more face. And I feel like that's badgering and speculation. Nope, I'm a fucking that, idiot. Uh, I'm going to overrule. Uh, and I'm going to ask Mr. Dundee, please watch your language in my courtroom, sir. Thank you, Demi7. But that question is fair ground. Uh, so there was no intentional, if that's what you were saying in that, that question, though. But did your helicopter um, blades hit my face? Uh, yes. Oh, I want oh $1 million, dollars, please. <laughs> what? It's not how this works. Do you have any further questions? I've won. <laughs> I've won. Uh, so, for me, he just said, <laughs> even I'm in fucking shock, he just said yes. <laughs> well, he is under oath. I'm so, uh, right, uh, I'm in shock. I've got nothing left to say, boys. Fuck it, I'm rich. <laughs> All right, Mrs. Steele, do you wish to cross examine? Uh, no, I'd like to recall him as a witness, though. Uh, All right, very good. Mm. Mr. Ford, you may step down with the court's thanks. Please be advised, sir, what? you are subject to recall, and you will be still under oath at that time. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Uh... Mr. Dundee, do you have any further witnesses that you wish to call at this time? Uh, actually, just to play this safe, can I call them back up? No, you may not. Oh, not! I'm not because, done with them! Uh, well, you, too bad. Uh, well, second, I'm new to this! Him. Come on, second chance! I will you be will have him. the ability to cross-examine him should Mrs. Steele call him back up. Four now. Well, uh, uh, I'm a witness. I'm a witness. Ah, uh, no me? one else. <laughs> All right. I would love to pull another guy up, but I'm bad to witness. Before the court, as far as physical evidence at this time, sir. Ah, uh, what? Do you have anything uh, that you wish to show me as a part of your case? Oh, hey, I got something real good to show you. All right. Look at me, ugly fucking mug! Good lord. She's fucked! Would you- Not even a mother could love me face! Look- Do we have any mothers look at in the this. courtroom today? Look at this! Yes, yes your honor, I am a single yes. mother. Yes, I'm a single mother. mother. I'm All right, a single could, mother, could one of you please take a look I at that cats. that hamburger mug of his and let me know yes. whether or not as a mother, if that done. was your Dundee, child, if you, you could, could love you him? Could you approach me, Dundee, so I can get a better look? No, yeah, don't- Can I be a- um, this is actually tragic. Yeah, there I mean, we go. I mean, I would. I oh. love all my sons. Fuck you! Oh my god! 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 Oh my you stay over there. I do not come at me. <laughs> All right. No. <laughs> Mr. Dunley, you, re you rested your case. So, Mrs. Steele, I know I didn't. I was in the moment. I, 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 I struck my rested case. What? You're fine. 
He wants to strike his entire case. No, 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 no. I did not say that. I said I am not done. I wish to continue. Why? Tier Love three. you, brother. Keep it Mr. up. Mr. Hope Dundee, mom is well. You have to put before the court at this time. Uh, well, me, I might have to cross examine or no. I'm waiting for them to finish. Right. Then yeah. you need to oh. rest your case so that they can present their case. Oh, I'm done. All right. So, case? plaintiff rests. Yes. Yes. Evidence, doctor. I don't have any of that. I've had zero preparation. Are you prepared to uh, call your first witness, or do you need a minute? I didn't know I had this court case four hours ago. Have a recess, your honor. Granted, court is in recess for five minutes. Everybody, get yourself something to eat and drink. Stretch your legs. Like our first Maxie. Anyone got a taco? Ford, come with me. Does anyone want to fly with the bones? Oh God! Let me let me have a wee pickle of those. Stand still. Hello. Okay, don't Ooh. get your finger I'm under the skin. For a sec. Uh, oh, 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 that is fucking oh, gross. Oh, my god. Oh, my what god. happened to you? What happened to you? Nice. Yeah, security yeah, should... oh, uh, Are you alright, big chief? You still with us? Yeah, nah, I'm not doing this. Better. Come on. Uh, and what uh, happened to you? You miss. Back you didn't see you with a helicopter. The body you miss. Yeah, body you miss. How could they do that? How could they do that? That is shocking. Hey, Absolutely one million, shocking. Million dollars. You know, and you deserve those million dollars because how could yeah. anyone yeah, strike someone with a helicopter? Yeah. What's hey. happening, Big Chief? Oh, oh my. What are you doing? Okay. Am I still you beautiful? Seen, Stick your finger in, uh, it. Your finger in the cheekbone. No, you've seen, definitely seen better days, Dundee. How you doing, Jenny? Listen, hey, Dundee, I'm just going to stand right here. I'm going to be... Listen, I'm, 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 you know, I'll be right here, okay? You're with me on this one, the EMS fucked up. Yeah. yeah no, yeah. I, that's not what I said. I'm not taking the other side. I heard it. <laughs> oh, I so, heard could it. you yeah. go back on the other side here? <laughs> you're yeah, not, certainly not I supposed to get, so get on the other side. The Thank you so much. I've got Thank a few you. Earlier. Thank get you. on the other side. Are you looking for me to confiscate your fan, sir? <laughs> <laughs> get away. Disgusting. Take, take that, you prick. What'd you say? So said, take that, you prick. Okay, don't fuck around with me, sir. I want to be another million dollars richer. I I can't believe I was I came in this case meant to be prepared. I'm pick? trying to be prepared, uh, and I'm winning. <laughs> and what? I'm winning. Hey, what's happening? I'm trying to lose. What's happening? Yeah, hey, what's happening? We're in a court uh, case. Happening, Shaga. What's what's happening, I Shagger? Think Dundee is winning. Uh, is what's happening. Even the crowd agrees. Uh, we were, uh, Dundee's gonna be a millionaire, and I'm gonna be a half millionaire. Oh shit! Really? Congrats! Aye, aye. Fucking. Oh, what's God. happening, Big Chief? I kind of. I thought I didn't think uh, I'd get yeah, anywhere close to winning, so I kind of want to be a bit smarter. Was smart a little bar I was my friend. Fucking think of all the guns I can buy with this million dollars. I almost really badly want to say that in game. Like really badly. Uh Holy fuck there. would you look at that baby? Yeah. If trying well, to lose isn't working, try to win. Well I mean my strategy of trying to trying to lose is working pretty oh, well. Is this uh is this a one? Oh Hey shit. Dundee. Eh? Hey you got this buddy. I believe me. Well, I'm surprised this is going as well as it is, to be honest. Honestly? Are we real? I'm surprised you made such a good fucking, uh, objection. Yeah, no, that objection was actually fucking spot on. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, that was I'm, great, dude. I'm well thinking, done. like, fucking, you know, fucking KFC serves me fucking... What is that? Well, what? Well. Like your Santa outfit it's looking pretty bro. Bro, in real life, you would die. I'm in the corner, I'm saying, I like your Santa outfit, it's looking pity, bro. Oh, God. Who are you talking to? The one wearing the Santa oh. outfit, you oh, thick fuck. Just... Sorry, I couldn't see him. Oh, oh yikes. Yikes. This is yikes. 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 Yeah, very uh, just yikes, yikes my outfit. The, the I yikes everything up. about this. Back in order. Uh, oh, what, what, what's he well, saying? You're not that well dressed yourself. Bitch! Excuse, Excuse you me? Oh, Kiki? Excuse me? What the fuck do you see me, Kiki? She's well, your clothing line, dude. 
you oh, listen yeah. here you listen here trampa claws okay i'm not sure what dumpster you got your fucking outfit out of but you should return it i'm sure that the homeless meth head who you stole it from is probably looking for it thank you my warrant's clip this court case has got to go onto youtube i know it will i know for facts i'm sensing a lot of hostility over here well, I already yep. know the guy who runs, Whatever. you know, the fucking YouTube channel, you know, fuck it. It's got to be on and both still of them. The police it's got to be on Twitch files and the other one. I, I can't what? wait to <laughs> be watch this. Who is talking What are you shit? moaning about? <clears throat> yeah. What is it you're moaning about, ma'am? What are oh, you moaning nothing. about? Nothing. Twitch yeah, files yeah, already Who the hell are you, first things first? <laughs> Wow, who the hell are you? Because you're fucking popular cell, you be back. Calm down, Very rude, ma'am. Yeah, another order. one, but I forgot yeah, what it was. Yeah, order. order. I don't know who the hell I am. I'm just yeah, gonna Twitch talk about police. Yeah, Twitch votes as well. Twitch votes is gonna be on this. <laughs> fucking, you guys I don't think I don't see my own fucking mods and my I recommended am. shit? I always, like, I'll be scrolling on the homepage and I see my thumbnail of my own car in it. See you later, Keith. Who, uh, who was that that said that? Is that you, sir? Yeah, what's up? Okay, there you go. Judge just asked you to leave, sir. See ya. Is recess still on? Uh, no, no. We're coming back I'm in the session now. So, you want to leave the courtroom, order, please? Oh, I thought it was recess. I'll, I'll uh, put it Your Honor, you need to yell so I can barely hear you in the gallery. Yeah, I'm confused. Really? Is that I'm, recess? I am. Uh, Mr. Snake, have a word. Uh, no, you cannot anyone. have a word. Sir, so, can you get out of the courtroom? You want me to take him out for you, Mr. Snow? No, I can deal with him. I'm well, here for you. Yeah. No. I've actually done better than being paying a lawyer. I've been a paying a lawyer and I'm winning. What the fuck? All right, you know what? Caden's I think I'm improved this, a lot. She still needs to learn go. a lot, but this is a tough one, case, especially if Wok the All right, mind. there we go. There Literally are just said. One oh, so I'm yes, I'm 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 um, I would like to point out that Dundee's bike just got towed. You fucking right, kidding why me? Why does that matter? <laughs> I just wanted him to know. Who the All fuck right. towed it? A tow truck. Tow truck, probably. Oh, no fucking shit, Sherlock. I figured that one out, you dense fuck. Mr. Dundee. All right, that's enough. Judge Artson's not gonna hold you in contempt. I will hold you in contempt. Oh, if you I'm use so that this is a bit cranky. In my courtroom again, sir. Oh, and that right. goes for anyone. All right, this is a courtroom, not a circus. We're not at McDonald's playground or anything like that. Does anyone understand? Call me for a fucking point. Why I'm getting I upset understand. about this? Thank you. I'm probably gonna win one dollar. All right. Thank you, Judge Labar. This court is back in session. Mrs. Steele, are you prepared to present your case? I uh, guess I'd like to call thirty-seven dollars. Chat's voting thirty-seven dollars. Uh, she is an expert witness, Bree Stone, to the stand. Bree right. Stone. Bree Stone, please step forward. Be sworn in by Judge Labar. I'm probably gonna get six hundred dollars to get the face stone, off my face. Please raise your left hand. She wasn't even there. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that you will tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the oh, truth? Fuck. So help you, Mitch. Who's that? Under pains and penalties astronaut. of surgery. Yes. Mr. Dunn, is an astronaut. You are now going to be held in contempt of court ah. for that outburst, sir. No, Do you understand me? So when oh. this court proceeding is over, Mr. Dundee, you will go to prison. Ah. Oh, no, 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 she wasn't there! <laughs> oh, shoot. All right, that's enough. <laughs> Fuck. We'll figure out what the contempt charge is going to be later. I won't be in jail this with a million steel. dollars. So you step forward I'm not actually going to get a million dollars. And the questioning of your witness. If I get any money, it'll be like 5000 to 10000 dollars and it's all going to go to debt. I'm going to get nothing. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing pretty okay. Thank you for asking. Yeah. Um, so I'm just gonna ask you a couple questions, um, based off of your profession in the EMS, okay? Okay. Because it's all about role play, Steve. Um, so do you have a search and rescue certification? Uh, have yeah. to have one in order to pilot a helicopter? Objection! All right. What grounds? She was never there. What does this have to do with him chopping up my face? This is uh, my expert witness to prove that he did everything in his power to make sure that he, uh, he did his job correctly. Overruled. I'll allow it. Oh, damn. All right. Um, what was the question again? Could you please... Um, sorry. Uh, do you have to have a search and rescue certification in order to pilot a helicopter? Y yes, you do. 
Uh, so you're, are you an instructor for search and rescue in the EMS department? Yes, I am. So since you're an instructor for the certification, that means that you have to teach people how to fly helicopters. Is this right? Yes. Hey man, I mean, no, okay. it's fine. I'm not taking any advice from chat. Uh, so that means that you would have to be an experienced and professional pilot in flying a helicopter. Of course. Well, he clearly wasn't because he chopped right. off my head. How long have you been an instructor for search and rescue? Uh, about three or four months. Oh, okay. Uh, how many times have you crashed? Zero. Uh, how many times have you had an incident involving a civilian while you were piloting a helicopter? Zero. Objection! Okay. Uh, okay. Well, she already answered. Do we what grounds? Answer? Well, no, well, it's... Okay. An objection still stands, Mr. Dolov. Okay, that's fine. It's On good, you know, it's nice to know that she hasn't done anything wrong, but he did. So I don't care if she hasn't objection. done anything wrong. Fucking yeah, you trained him to do better, Vort, oh, but right, he's still right, pissed off. Right. Are you tell her? The objection is on the grounds of relevance. Do you have a response, Mr. Dillal? Your Honor, this, all these questions are to prove her credibility as an instructor and to prove that she's actually an expert in her field. All right, the court is going to stipulate that she, in fact, is a credible expert in her field, and you don't need to lay any more groundwork. Okay. Uh, well, my next question was actually to get into like this whole the whole thing. All right, get on with it, please. All right. Um, with that being said, if you were landing somewhere, for example, a building like um, Mr. Ford had to do, uh, is it difficult to immediately go back up and ascend into the air while having already started a landing procedure? Uh, yes, helicopters are very heavy, several thousand pounds, something like that. Uh, once you start the descent process, it's very difficult to uh, kind of go back up. Objection! It's not possible. On, uh, sorry, Mr. Dundee, you missed you missed your objection window there. Mm-hmm. You want me to right. go, and go forward with it? Mr. DeLaw, you may continue. All right. All right. So if you were to already uh, be descending in a helicopter, uh, then it would take time to change direction and ascend, correct? It wouldn't be like on a whim? Uh, yes, that's correct. It takes a little time to do that. All right. So if somebody jumped into the area of the blades, uh, into the area that the blades were going, while someone is landing the helicopter, then it would be virtually impossible to miss them while landing in a tight area such as on top of a building, correct? Uh, yes. All right. Um... No more questions, Your Honor. All right. Mr. DeLaw, do me a favor. Yes, sir. When you're phrasing your questions, don't lead your witness damn near as much as you just Chat did. Chat Dundee. Uh, okay, Dundee, Dundee doesn't know this. The reason you just got away with it is because Mr. Dundee doesn't have the ability to understand that you're not supposed to ask a question that way. Oh, now you run rude. I objected you. Oh, mine. You said no. And no, you objected to one that... You object Can I go ask her questions now? During the answer. But anyhow, am I understood, Mr. DeLaw? Yep. Very good. Mr. Dundee, it's you yet to your grace. This witness at this it's time. not even your grace. Well, what you say? I'm about to take all those notepads out back to hey, you throw Cross them out. My you all understand. Oh, okay. What are you saying? Thank you. Right. Give me, right, me a good eye. Are you a, a wizard? Hold on, Mr. Wait. Dundee, give me one second. I can't hear him, Your Honor. Back corner. I will throw all of you out. Am I understood? I beg, Chief. I'm trying to run a damn courtroom here. It's already difficult enough. I got somebody up here that doesn't understand how this is done. Well, Those of you in the back are not helping me right now. This is oh, a geez, lot harder geez. than it looks. And I would appreciate it if y'all would work with me a little bit. I can barely goddamn hear half the questions people are asking. And I'm trying to make judgments up here. Now, if we could all act like adults, I'd really appreciate it. But if you find yourself incredibly incapable of acting like an adult, my doors are right back there. And I'd ask you kindly to walk through them. Am I understood? Yeah! I beg yes. Chief. Yes, your grace. <laughs> very good. Now, if we can get through the rest of this, actually very important hearing, damn it. Without any more unnecessary interruptions, I'd appreciate it. Can I love? Do you have Hello. any proof? I, do you have any proof that I was in the oh. wrong spot? Uh, uh, objection, leading, speculation, hearsay. Um, oh, he's, allowed, he's allowed to leave when he's No, the, this is a cross oh. examination. These are Shoot. nope. He's good. Uh, oh. You you may answer that question. Oh, uh, I wasn't there for the actual thing. I was just told to be here as like, an go. expert in my field. She wasn't there. 
And she just said that I would have been in the wrong place and it wasn't my what? fault. It's the helicopter's no. fault. That's I didn't say that. No, she did not. No, all she right. said yes, and all I'm right, right there. Right, all right, all right, all right. What is the objection on the grounds of? Uh, objection on the grounds of she is an expert witness and she did not say anything of the like. Out of scope, Your Honor. <sighs> the objection you're looking for is that the that the counsel is testifying, which I'm going to sustain. Which I'm going to sustain, Mr. Dundee. If you don't have a question, then I'll ask you to step back. Do you have a perfect cloning machine to make perfect carbon copies of you? What Not objection that. relevant? Now hold on, listen, listen. Reason why I'm asking this question is because just because you are an expert doesn't mean you can train that moron to be as good as you. And he has made a mistake, which is unintentional. So how can you prove that he is exactly oh, so is as good as you? I'm going to overrule it and allow this question to happen. Can you repeat that? I kind of I Can you out. prove to me that he is one for one as perfect or better than you at flying? Because you said you had zero incidents. This moron's had more than one. Or oh, I'm thinking that's just now hold on, I'll repeat that. Or oh, I'll reword that. He has had at least one by chopping off my face. He is admitting it. So he is not as good as you. So What's the question? Do you okay. have a cloning yeah. machine? Do I have a cloning machine? Is that... No. No. Uh, Mr. <sighs> Mr. Dundee, I'm, I'm going to step in here and I'm right. going to ask the question that you're going for for you. <clears throat> Ms. Stone, yes. is it possible for a pilot other than yourself to make a mistake? Oh, of course. We're all human. Is that what you were going for, Mr. Dundee? Pretty much. Now, all can right. I ask you a question? Just to remind everyone, right? Mm hmm. Do you recall uh, Mr. Fucking Ford over there saying. Watch uh, your language in my courtroom, Mr. Uh, Dundee. Uh, nah, mate. Do, you know, he, do you recall him saying that he unintentionally hit me with his blades? I do. Okay, that's okay. Just don't. Can so, you repeat, he's asking, okay, sorry, so, what I, I've made is that even though you've trained him, he's made a mistake. He screwed up, and he screwed up more face. I, I never trained him. I never trained him. Then why are you here? Okay. I'm an expert <gasps> in my field. It's... <gasps> <I said> that. <laughs> I've been a flight instructor for months. You know, I know what I'm talking about. That's months. why they asked me to be up here. Months. Months. <gasps> So, I you, fly didn't, a you don't even know what he's been trained. Do you don't? Oh my god. Expert. F You're expert at being an idiot, you are. Oh, you're okay. That is uncalled for. No, Objection, your honor, badgering. Sustained, and Mr. Dundee, you are out of order. That is uncalled for. Oh, Unless come you have on. another question. No, you will not belittle a witness up here like that. <laughs> uh, Lord, so, uh, you weren't there. I'm just saying, well, actually, uh, mm, 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 I'm thinking. If you need a moment, take a moment. It's all right. If you are an expert at this and you train people and you didn't train him and you weren't there, then why are you here? Objection. Relevance. We've already experienced him multiple times. Well, I don't see uh, the relevance. Well, I don't see why she's here. How can she prove that? All right. Mr. All right. Dundee. Two of you. I've heard the objection. The objection is wrong. You're going for asked and answered. Yes. Um, I was about to say that. Sorry. But, Mr. Dundee, uh, I believe you've made your point here that Ms. Stone was not the IP for Mr. Ford. Uh, but she is here simply as a witness to allow the court to better understand uh, the training and things that pilots are supposed to go through. Now, the court will uh, acknowledge that Ms. Stone cannot sign off on whether or not Mr. Ford actually received this training because she was not his IP. And we will That's take that into consideration. I instruct the pilot, ma'am. Oh, okay. Sorry. Right, so, yeah, no, that's all I got. Your Honor, if if I may, just so he has a somewhat better understanding of why I asked the questions, is that okay? If not, I don't fine. believe it's necessary at this time. Do you okay. wish to redirect? No. 
fine. All right, very good. Shit, I should have called it out on yes, that. Oh, I didn't. Expert uh, doesn't know what's an IP. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. I should have said, Jun Yena, you're the Warfare's expert here. Okay. Fuck, I should have said that. Uh, Your Honor, we'd like to call uh, Ford to the stand. All right, Mr. Ford, please return to the stand. I remind you, sir, you are still under oath. Okay. Make sure you cry. Okay, let me just, uh... All right, Mr. Ford, what is your position within the EMS? Uh, I am a captain within the high command. All right, and how long have you been with the EMS department? Uh, over a year. Okay. How long have you been a captain? Uh, it's been a good few months now, being a captain. Uh, what qualifications does one need to have to fly the emergency helicopters in the department? Uh, so you need to be trained in the search and rescue certification. Okay, and that's something that you have? I just realized oh, I've correct. won. I'll leave, uh, I how won't give a hint as to what I've done. I've just figured out what to say, but trust me. Uh, it's about, about nine months. Nine months, okay. Have you ever had any accident? Okay. <clears throat> Objection! He's already said he hit me with the bloody blades. What does that have to do with anything? He's admitted it! Again, so, Honor, what are you I'm... objecting? Yeah. Well, why are you asking if he's had any relevance? If you're fucking, you know, asking, have you had any accidents in the past few months or weeks or since you've been here? Well, the answer is bloody yes. He chopped me face off. Well, All actually, right. I would be... Uh, appalled. I'm actually appalled that he would object to this question. Wouldn't Mr. Dundee like to know if he's had multiple accidents? Wouldn't All that right. help his case? All right. I think I see Shit. where you're going. No. All right. So I understand where you're going with this. Mrs. Steele, please rephrase your question as you were about to rephrase it to the question you were actually trying for. What? I don't even know. Uh, what? what? Well, <laughs> I don't know how I can re I mean, it's not a leading question. I don't All know right. how I can watch this mr ford prior to the incident that we're talking about today had you had any accidents while you were the pilot of the helicopter that's exactly what was my question uh it's a negative okay. objection well, thank you your honor you no can't that object. one's overruled that isn't what she was going for which is what i just asked what well, is is an all right question she's laying a groundwork for his credibility which you can then attack if you want to when you cross examining him. all right mr ford did Mr. Demdi uh, climb on top of the vehicle that was on the roof while you were attempting to land? Uh, yes, he uh, he did. Okay, did he know that you were landing? Did he know that you were on the way to help him? Uh, yes, he did. Is there any lights on the helicopter? How do you uh, know? Yes, oh, wait, hold up. Objection. How did you know I knew you were landed? You didn't say a bloody word to me. You know, it's a late That's... objection, Ooh. but I'm going to, uh, I'll hear your rebuttal. Ooh. Well, I was just going to say, Your Honor, that's why I'm asking him if if Mr. Dundee had called 911 and knew that he was on the way. Uh, and then, again, with the lights, uh, I find it hard to believe that Mr. Dundee would not see a helicopter landing. I'm trying to lay out that baseline. Nah, that All bloody right. bird came down quick, fast, and We're shit through goes. Right. All right, well, you can continue to lay down the scene. However, I'm going to su sustain that objection on the on the basis that Mr. Ford could not possibly know what Mr. Dundee knew at the time. Oh. Unless he, you know, had something in his brain. Well, that's not what I'm asking. I'm asking if there was lights on the vehicle that would... Well, no, ma'am. He's, he's objecting to your previous question. It just took him a oh. second because he's Australian to realize he wanted to object to it. I would have objected to Ooh. it too, as he'll say. There's still so many okay. people interested uh, on this. Okay, so then is it okay to ask if there was lights on the helicopter? Of course, that... you may continue okay. to set up the, the the physical circumstances around everything that's going on. But oh, I understand. refrain from asking your witness what another individual might have been thinking, feeling, or understanding. Because he okay. can't possibly know that. Okay, I agree, right? The I, car's I outside. outside. Okay, fine. so Mr. Ford, I'm going to ask the question again. Uh, is there lights on the helicopter? Objection! Uh, yes, on what grounds? How do you know that I know what the lights mean? Does Again, not that's not what I'm asking. You are overruled. 
Okay, mm. and are they emergency lights? Are they flashing lights? What do they look like? Uh, so they're kind of flashing lights to identify the aircraft. Okay. Uh, was it day or night when this incident occurred? Uh, I believe it was daytime. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, did you receive a 911 call for help? Uh, yes, we did. Okay, and who was that call from? Uh, from Mr. Dundee. Okay, and did you respond to the call? Uh, yes, I did. What did you say? Uh, sorry, in terms of actually responding, it may have actually been one of my colleagues that responded, uh, okay. as in directly to the 911, if that's what you're referring to. Okay, and did you know what the response to the 911 call was? Uh, I believe it would have been that we were en route. Okay. Uh, what type of so vehicle... So it probably would have been along the lines of EMS en route. Mm. Right. Okay, and what type of vehicle was on top of the roof when you arrived? Uh, it was a white two-door oh, sports car. Yeah, that's true. A white two-door sports car. Your Honor, I'd like to uh, mention the fact that Miss Chanel said it was an aqua-colored. I was traumatized! <laughs> And it was a uh, well, I thought she All was right, referring. So noted, oh, and let's not start this again. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, was it? Uh, okay. Was it too late to avoid hitting Mr. Dundee in the landing procedure uh, at that point? Maui. As you were, as you were uh, descending. Uh, so yeah, uh, I, I actually did step down from the uh, the car. All right, let's hold on here. Mr. Dundee, was that an objection yeah, I was about to No, hear? no, continue. Can you repeat All that right. question so I could hear what you said? Yes, I said, um, was it too late to avoid hitting Mr. Dundee uh, in the landing procedure at that point? Hold on, listen, chat. Listen to what Rockview says. He said something wrong. Mm -hmm. So right, now hold on, mate. Object. Wait up. You started talking, and then I wanted to hear the question again, and now you've gone silent. What? I, uh, that's I, just, I repeated that's the lost question. Where it was, wasn't it? Yeah, yes. No. He already answered it. I asked to hear it again, and now he won't say it. Well, right, all right because hold on. we're it, uh, thinking that you're going uh, to object. Your Honor. Yes, sir. What should he, he already answer? Who is this over here? Who is what over where now? Over here. <laughs> Who the hell is that? It's <laughs> Ryan Park. Freaking Mark. That's Ryan Parker. That's the security sir? guard. No, it's you wanna, you wanna step back over there, sir? Um, uh, sure. Until you're called upon, or some kind of services you're providing here today? It's security services. And I can provide security your services. services. Yeah. Free of charge. Free of charge. Okay. Uh, you can go out front of the courthouse and uh, secure that. How about that? Oh, okay. Mhm. Mm I'll give you a whole dollar when we're done. So that makes you. Dollar. Okay, Mr. Ford, uh, I believe you can answer the question. Oof. Yeah, there's no objection on uh, record to okay. the question. Okay, all right. So, it was, yeah, when I was uh, coming into land, it was Mr. Dundee had actually stepped down from the car. It was only as I was actually touching down that he then climbed back up onto the car. Objection! You can't object um, to an answer. No, you can't object to an answer, sir. I was always on top of the car, so I'm just going to answer it anyways. That is something that you can bring up during cross, sir. Okay, so was it too late to ascend uh, after you were descending uh, when he got on top of the vehicle? Uh, yes, that is correct. Okay. So you weren't able to quickly ascend to avoid him because of the weight of the helicopter? Uh, yeah, it was that, and uh, the landing zone was uh, particularly tight as well, um, as there was obviously the vehicle on one side, and then the, uh, mm, there was actually sort tight. of a tree on the other, so trying to do any sort of evasive maneuvers would not be possible. Okay, can you describe the area of the roof? Was it small, big, tall? Describe it for me. Uh, it was very confined. Uh, okay. So yeah, there, there was enough room to get the aircraft down, uh, but yeah, there's not much room for uh, maneuvering. Okay, so had you had the chance, could you uh, quickly have gone left, right, forwards, or backwards to avoid Mr. Denby as he jumped on, on top of the vehicle? Uh, negative, no, I wouldn't. So the only direction you could have gone was up, if it was even possible. That's correct. Uh, describe what happened from the time you got uh, Mr. Dundee's 911 call, 911 call excuse me, to the time you got him to the hospital. Just a brief summary. 
Uh, okay, so yeah, I responded to the uh, 911 call. Uh, arrived on scene, uh, so I responded in, in our sort of rapid response truck. Uh, arrived on scene and observed that Mr. Dundee was on the top balcony of the uh, the building. Uh, after sort of a quick search of the area, there was no uh, sort of easy access to get up to actually sort of get him down. So I then sort of mm, verbally said to him, actually. just you know, hold, hold tight, I'm going to go grab a helicopter and going to come and uh, extract you that way. Uh, there's the uh, there's actually sort of a helipad just around the corner where a uh, where our sort of life flight helicopter is stored. Uh, okay. You see, when I when I kind of came back to the scene with the the aircraft, Mr. Dundee was stood on top of the uh, car, um, but he did actually step down, which is then when I started my approach. Uh, and it was only then, as I was touching down, he Lies! Then, uh, jumped back up onto the car and was then struck by the blades. Oh, it's always on the car. Uh, so okay. after landing, got out, treated his injuries. Uh, and then transport him to, uh, to the hospital, uh, where he was actually sort of checked in with the... Well, I uh, think I was always on the car. Was I always uh, on the car, Jack? I would note that very shortly I think I was that, always on was the car. I remember being the hospital, on the car. Uh, just shouting, I'm going to sue you. Yeah. Well, oh, okay. And how quickly after you got him to the hospital did he run out and scream that? Uh, almost immediately. Uh, Mr. Ford, in your professional opinion, as a high-ranking paramedic in the Los Santos EMS, did he run out of the hospital and seem fine to you? Uh, yeah. He, he, he seemed relatively un uninjured. What? Okay, and did his face look the way that it does now? Game mechanics. I can't uh, instantly I'm, adjust I'm my back. Uh, I'm going to stop you right there. That's a very powerful question. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah. And okay. I'm next. Sorry. Mm -mm. Yeah, sorry, forgot about that. Okay, uh, strike that. Uh, no further questions at this time, Kermit. Do you have any questions for him? Uh, yes, I have. I have a couple. That's okay. Okay, go ahead. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. Oh, okay. Um, so, just to um clarify for the the judge here and the rest of the court, are uh, what what does the hel what does the emergency helicopter look like for EMS? Objection. War is that uh, important? I just explained right before I asked the question, Your Honor. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to overrule it at this time. Um, that I, I understand where you're going with this. All right. Could you tell uh, us okay, what the so helicopter looks like, please? Uh, yes, the helicopter is uh, yellow and with sort of the main body. Uh, the tail is red and it has search and rescue written down the side. All right. Are they very bright colors? Oof, yes, they like are. The All right. Um, would this helicopter have been visible in the day in the daytime easily? Yes, it would. All right. Are helicopters quiet or are they loud or? Uh, they are very loud. All right. So if it's in the middle of the day, and you are flying to a why, call, why? somebody Objection. would somebody hear you or see you? Oh, On sorry. what grounds, Mister Dundee? It, it was, was the not the middle of the, of the day. It was the middle of the night. See. Even, well, even Your Honor, if that's the case, why didn't he? If that's the case, why didn't he? I didn't hear that when it was brought up. Well, I just heard that. Wait, who's fucking that's, said right, it was day? All right, hold on, hold I did. on, hold on. All right. Oh, that's an issue too. Actually, that's a. Yep, that is another one of those issues. All right. Would uh, I have a section, another area of questions for that? If that's okay, move Your on, Honor? please. Um, is it okay if I ask questions for nighttime as well? Because I have another set of questions for that. Or just move on entirely? Move on entirely about right. what time of day and whether or not it was dark outside. All right, so it, helicopters are easily um, noticed. Or, or, excuse me, let me rephrase. Are helicopters easily noticed, day or night, whatever? Uh, yes, I'd say so. All right. Uh, no more questions, Your Honor. All right, thank you very much. Oh, a couple of questions, mate. All right, Mr. Dundee, you may cross-examine this witness. Good eye again, mate. Fucking, uh, you, uh... Mr. Dundee, your language in my courtroom starts. Uh, 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 the area that you were landing was dangerous, right? Uh, objection, speculation. No, he stated it earlier. He said it was, you know, he said it earlier in his he, previous question. When um, you he asked never said it. it was dangerous. No, right, you said, it said all right, all you know, right, it's hard right, to maneuver right. there. Ladies and gentlemen... There is an objection on the floor. Mr. Dundee, I have heard your rebuttal. I don't require any more input from either of you. I am going to overrule it. This witness is absolutely qualified 
to answer a question on whether or not landing a helicopter on a roof is dangerous. Mr. Ford, you uh, answer yes. that question. Okay, so yeah, I would say that it was a very tight landing. Uh, I mean, trying to, to land in a built-up area, it does have its risks. Um, so yeah, it, it, let's say it, is, it is a very tight landing to, to uh, actually uh, to maneuver. And why did you risk it? Why did you land? If you knew uh, that there was danger... Yourself. Yeah, right. So if you knew that there was danger, why did you proceed to land and not give me any warning or indication whatsoever? Uh, so search and rescue operations always have their risks. Uh, it's it's always in, in the means of the search and rescue is a case if somebody cannot get themselves out of a situation. So there will be risks in trying to, uh, to get them out. I would also note that I did actually say to you that I was coming with the helicopter to land on the roof. Yeah, right. So if you knew there were risks involved, why did you not better assess it? Because you didn't do a very good job. <laughs> okay, badgering? This is a cross-examination. My Steel. face. What about it? All right, that's enough between the two of you. Mr. Dundee, direct Have a close questions. look at it. Touch Mr. the bones. Dundee, Touch the bones. You are out of order, Mr. Dundee. Direct your questions to the witness or rest. Oh. Did you know that I knew what the lights meant on an EMS helicopter? Uh, well, they are warning lights. It's, it's more for the aviation uh, Do you... industry what they are. You, you, there you were, missed there the question. Lights on there. Do you know that I know what those lights mean? Objection, oh, speculation. No. Do you have a rebuttal, Mr. Dundee? I'm simply asking yes or no. Does he Does he know? I'm asking, I'm not speculating, I'm asking for the definitive answer. Do right. you know that I knew what those lights mean? So Did you, you are asking... Granted? All right, uh... Mr. Dundee, I'm going to sustain that objection. You're asking this witness to know your mind, which is not something he can do unless you actually spoke to him about it. Well, and that, you could that then... proves my point exactly. He didn't speak to me about it at all. All right, he didn't. Well, hold on here. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and, try and teach you a little bit. So the only way you could, uh, the only way the witness can uh, speak about someone else's knowledge or mental state is if that knowledge or mental state was brought up in conversation with the individual that you are asking about. So if, That's my if point. you wanted to ask if you wanted to ask Mr. Ford if he knew what I was thinking, unless I had specifically told him in conversation, it would be hearsay. Or well, it would be speculative in nature. Well, mate, did you? He, he he didn't say a word with me, mate. He didn't say anything to me. He just said, I'll go get the chopper, comes back. And then lands a helicopter and does this to my face. No, no, the last communication I heard is I'll be back with a chopper, Your Honor. Now, another question. Now, I know this is asked and answered, but I just want to, you know, bloody get this, you know, you know, get this back up in memory. Uh, you, uh, what's it called? Christ, even I've forgotten what else I was going to say now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where was I when you landed? Ah, uh, so you you had actually climbed back up onto the car as I was landing. Incorrect. I was always on top of the car. Uh, negative. You had you had stepped down, and which is the way I then made my approach. All right, Mister Dundee. Uh, do you have a rebuttal to that? Does he have any proof that I stepped down from the car? Because it seems awfully convenient. Why would I step back up on a car just before a helicopter lands? Always, always objection, on the speculation. Couch. Okay, hold on here. Uh, I, feel like I have one objection it. on the floor that I'm trying to rule on. No I, under, I understand that, yes, uh, that question is a bit argumentative, but one, this is a cross-examination, and two, uh, Mr. Dundee is basically challenging uh, facts you, as him. presented by the witness as to his location during the time of the landing. So, I am going to allow it, but Mr. Dundee... Uh, Ask your questions, receive your answers. Actually, uh, quick, and, and, quick question, and that's Judge. about it. Can I ask yes, you one sir. question? Sure. If he has admitted to chopping up my face, 
and my face is chopped up and I am ugly as hell now why is this court case still going? Why are we arguing if he did it or not? He did it. Look at my face. He admitted I'm not it. Not arguing if he did it or not, Mr. Dundee. No, we're trying to assess culpability, Mr. Dundee. Uh, the helicopter screwed your face up. That much is uh, that much is certain. But what we are still taking a look at, sir, is whether or not Mr. Ford is at fault for that. Whether you put yourself in that situation, or when, uh, or any other myriad of uh, explanations as to why. The helicopter chopped your face up. Okay. Oh, right. Uh, what was I going to say? Mm, I had it now. I lost it. Did you communicate to me at all while you were coming down with the helicopter with a megaphone or anything? Or by calling me with the phone number that you had as you responded to me previously? Uh, no, no point I did, but I would say trying to use a heli- or trying to use a phone while flying a helicopter is very, very dangerous, especially when trying to perform a very tight landing. Do you have radios? Uh, yes we do. Why yeah. could you not communicate to someone else to call me and then distract me what to do? Uh, because I was the only medic on duty at the time. So why could you not tell me a game plan before you got the helicopter? Uh, I did shout up to you when I was going to get the helicopter that I would be bringing it in and would be landing it on the roof. My point exactly. Your Honor, that's all he said. He didn't say where to stand. He didn't say what I could and couldn't do. He didn't say what I should do. All he told me was he was going to be landing a copter. What? He didn't say when. He just said he'll be back soon. Um, Your Honor, objection? On what grounds? Argumentative. He's a grown man. He doesn't need another grown man to tell him what to do. You, what you uh, what you're looking for? Mate. The objection that you're looking for is that counsel is testifying. Oh, that one. Sorry. Uh, right. I'm going to overrule it at this time simply because uh, counsel kind of needs to testify a little bit because he's representing himself. All right. Sorry, Your Honor. So I understand. So I understand the the way of thinking. I understand oh. what's going on. All right. Mr. Dundee, do you have any further questions for Mr. Ford? When you land a helicopter, do you usually speak to people on the ground? Why? Uh, if it is possible to do so. Was it possible to do so in this situation? Uh, I mean, as I say, in that kind of situation, it would have been difficult Thank because you, of how tight the landing was. Uh, in terms of actually going for the sort of... Yes or when, no. when you're coming in for a landing... Could you communicate to me before you landed? Uh, I mean, I'd say in that situation, probably no. Because of how tight the situation was. So what did you foresee with landing if you knew that it was dangerous? You knew you could very well harm me and you Why? did harm me. And you... Why did you not take an extra two seconds to land the helicopter and tell me what to do? You just Objection. Landed. Leading. Speculation. He's allowed to leave. He's cross examining. Damn it! Speculation. Oh. Damn. What you're looking for is asked and answered, and it is sustained. Thank you. Does Thank the you. helicopter have a speaker? Uh, no, it does not. Do you have a megaphone? Uh, no. Mm. Can I ask? Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. No, you cannot. Mr. Dundee, do you have any further questions? Oh, I'm thinking. All right, take your time. So I think. If you think it's too dangerous to talk and fly a helicopter at the same time, what made you think it was safe to land? Is it too dangerous to talk? It's too dangerous to land? What made you think that landing was safer than talking? Uh, because when you're actually talking, you are not in control of the aircraft. Being uh, in control of the aircraft is hands, more of a priority than talking. Or how many hands does it take to fly a helicopter? Two. And you have a radio? I do have a radio. And how many hands does it take to operate a radio? Uh, at least one. Fuck. <laughs> Mr. Dundee. 
Uh, I'll be back to you. No, nope. he actually won't. Bunch of freaks. All right. Uh, do you are you done questioning, uh, Mr. Dundee? Ah. Uh, eh. Um. Oh, Kaden, you sound really fucking weird. Good old baby. What do I sound like? Actually, never. Mind. You sound really. You sound really. Is weird. it? Is this better? That's it, buddy. Dundee is not a flight expert. All right, no. Um, you're under permission no. for a sidebar, if that's okay. All right, approach, Mr. Dundee. Come up as well. What am I doing? Come up to the stand, Mr. Dundee. Come up over here. This is this is what is known as approach. Everybody, speak as lowly as possible. I'm gonna cover these microphones. This is all off the record. I want to say talk very closely. Um, so all right, there the, we go. Yeah, what's up? The I issue is, it, 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 I don't know how to you explain think, this. It literally you think, takes, they're gonna, you think they're gonna fuck? Maybe. It literally takes two hands to fly a helicopter. I'd watch it. I'd watch it. County wise, it is physically impossible. I could see. I could see all three of them jumping on Kane. All right. So what Believe we're me, saying is, these it. are some powerful questions. Yeah, yeah these that, are very powerful that, questions. That's the issue. That that bitch gets all around. Right. <laughs> Got it. Are you, you can, hearing you everything that Michelle is saying right now? smuggle a can of kidney now? beans yes, in that right, asshole. Yeah. I can tell you that right okay. now. Like, I'm Pringles, Dundee's asking Pringles really good questions. I'm actually very yeah, impressed yeah, with his exactly stuff today. Right. I just, God, it's look at like that. a very look at that loaded turd cutter. Her legs are wide. <laughs> her legs are wide set. Yeah, Kiki, could you shut even... up? You're being really mean. Yeah, I can't even hear you or focus on what you're saying, Your Honor. <laughs> right. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to. All right, I'm, I'm going to take into consideration that those were some powerful questions. And I will, uh, I will ask everybody to uh, to refrain if they could uh, from asking very powerful questions. Uh, but if we do note that uh, that, that some powerful Excuse questions me? are being Thank asked, you. I'm going to allow you <laughs> to object on the grounds of the question being powerful. <laughs> Wolf, quit questioning it. How many oh, hands? How many hands does it take to yell? Well, that, that was, that's, him. that's what yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm talking. Okay, so we're what close I'm gonna to say, each other. So why what I'm gonna he say yell? is, if he couldn't call radio, then why not use his voice? Right. What I was gonna say is that the questions have already been asked and answered, so I'm okay right. with it so, going by yeah. in this case. So I'm just saying for future cases of helicopters. Nope. Game again. mechanics. It yeah, takes we're, two we're hands to use uh, it to Dundee, fly a keyboard. I'm, I'm not going to discount any of those questions. Uh, but the the lawyers here did have an issue that needed to be brought. Oh fuck, money! Pilots' radios are built as, into as their as helmets, before, means hands-free. When hovering a helicopter, you, you do not need both hands to control the stick to operate in one hand to radio. When I do my deliberations, all right? Chat, that's real life. This is a game. It takes two hands to fly with a keyboard. Right. All right, if there's nothing else, and Daddy uh, you doesn't may all know step this. back. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you. Chat, this is real life. But if you want to use a joystick. Put this clock back into order. Uh, do you, do you, do you wish to redirect? Yes, your yes. honor. All right, you may step forward. You want me to? Or you want me to? to? Oh, right, okay, you. okay. Okay. Uh, Mr. Ford, uh, did you say earlier that you had a flawless record for, prior to this incident? Uh, that's correct. Okay, and does every case, uh, including cases that involve a helicopter, arrive? Uh, excuse me, let me rephrase that. Does every case you have that arises, including ones involving a helicopter, have risks? Uh, yes. Okay. Does that mean that you would just avoid the calls because there's a risk sometimes? Uh, no, it doesn't. No. Okay. Uh, did you tell Mr. Dundee that you were coming back with a helicopter after you originally arrived? Yes, Holy I did. Fuck, okay, and what did he say to you uh, when you told him that? Uh, I don't remember the exact wording, but it was confirming that he's acknowledged it. Okay. Uh, you said earlier that helicopters are loud. Would it have been difficult to hear people, or is it difficult to hear people, uh, talking over the helicopter? Uh, yes, it is. Kermit, do you have any other questions? Uh, no, I'm good. No further questions, Your Honor. All right, very good. Mr. Ford, you may step down with the court's thanks. Okay, thanks. Don't know who else to bring up. I would like the question, Dundee. 
All right, Mrs. Steele, do you have any further witnesses that you wish to call forward? Uh, yes, we'd like to call Mr. Dundee to the stand. All right, Mr. Dundee, please step forward and uh, be sworn in. All right, now, because you have uh, asked the plaintiff to come up and because plaintiff does not have a counsel of his own, once you are done with your direct testimony, uh, Mr. Dundee, you will be afforded the opportunity to speak openly and candidly uh, without the need to simply ask yourself questions. Understood? Uh, eh. right, What's 52K? All right, very good. Mr. Well, now, Dundee. hold on a second. Let the let the judge swear Please. him in. Please, oh, Mr. Raise Steele. your left hand, Fair Mr. Enough. Dundee. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that you will tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you, Mitch, under pains and penalties of perjury? Yeah, nah. Yeah, no, or yeah? Yeah, nah, mate. Okay, I need a yes or no, Mr. Dundee. I said yeah! <laughs> Thank you. He's sworn in, Your Honor. I did Thank not you very much. say yes Mr. in my Steele, hands you up. I said yeah, nah. Mr. Dundee. Oh. Mr. Dundee, what do you do for work? I am unemployed. Oh, I am. Uh, I work at the track factory. Oh, the, no, it's Clack and, I work at Clack and Bell. Okay, which is it? You're unemployed, you work at the track factory, or you work at Clack and Bell? Oh, I, I work at Clack and Bell, which is a track company. I do okay, how long have you worked there? Uh, about a month. Okay. Uh, describe your reasoning for being on top of the roof. Ask and answered. I didn't ask you that question. This is the first time you've been on the stand. Uh, look, I said earlier, I was with bloody Kiki standing right there, and she was driving, and she sent it off a jump, landed on the roof, and she was landed right next to me. Woo! Say? Okay. Oh. You said she landed Miss right Chanel. next to you? Sorry. Pose yourself, ma'am. Sorry, you're Mate, really... she was I in the car that. with me. Yes, yeah, she landed right next to me as being in the driver's seat. What does it have okay, to do? Okay, in her, in her testimony, she said that she uh, flew out of the vehicle and landed in the canals. No, she didn't say that. She said that she jumped yes, she off did. into the canals. That is not what she said. She no, said that the true. reason she was in the canals is because she did not have a seatbelt on, implying that she flew out of the window. Uh-uh. That's not what I implied. Your Honor, oh, you heard the testimony. No. That's exactly what she said. No, no, no what, we're not all right. confused. None all of right. us said that. All right, hold on. We said she the jumped. Question, oh, no. right. The question indicated was from Mr. Kermit, and uh, the question uh, was, and correct me if I'm wrong here, Judge Labar, uh, why did you? Why were you in the canals and uh, Mr. Dundee was not? We went round and around for a minute before Ms. Chanel's answer was simply seatbelts, sir. Fuck! And uh, that was the, is that the line of question into which you are referring, ma'am? Yes, sir. Uh, Judge Labar, have I have I nailed that down pretty close? Rip a million you have. dollars. All right, that is that was a testimony before the court at this time. So implications notwithstanding, those are the exact words. Okay, well, it must have been concussed or something from the crash because I could have swore. Oh, okay. Must have okay, been. well, let me ask you this. If if Kiki did jump down from the roof, why didn't you? Oh, because it's bloody high up roof on nice. I guess she's got a bigger dick than me. I didn't want to break me leggies. Me leggies were yeah. already sore. <laughs> Your Honor, would you like me to make a record? That uh, Ms. Chanel yes. may have a bigger dick than Ms. Yes, uh, let it let it reflect in the record that Ms. Chanel uh, swings far far lower than Mr. Dundee does. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that is hot. Okay, uh, Mr. Dundee, if you cannot remember the positioning of Kiki Chanel, um, how do you remember anything else? Because that was moments after the crash, and it was a good 20 minutes after a bloody court for to get help that he even showed up in the truck and another 10, 15 minutes from the coming helicopter. Okay, but she claims that she wasn't on the roof. I'm sorry. Yeah, she claims that she wasn't on the roof, but you are saying that she was, so I'm well, just, I'm just trying to get clarification I, I recorded you. that she was, but I must have been concussed. I must have been remembering things different. I was under the assumption that she was in the car with me, and then she then ran and then panicked and jumped off the roof into the canals. Oh, no adrenaline or That's something. That's the truth. Uh-oh, Kiki needs to shut here. up. 
Kiki needs to shut up. Thank you, Tom. She's changing her statement. That's what happened. Thank you, Miss Chanel. You're shut welcome. Up, You're great. Shut up, shut up. Fuck you fucking shh. Don't shh me. Your Honor, uh, can I request a two minute recess? Granted. Call us in Thank recess you. for two minutes. Mr. Dundee, feel free to step down, but when we return, you'll be asked back up to the stand, sir. What if I want to step up? Uh, no, sir, no. sir, get oh, off. God. What the hell is wrong oh, with you? God. Get off. Oh. Do you understand how expensive this is? Not really. And you done pissed off the judge. There you go. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I'm being robbed. Language. Language. I'm being Watch robbed. Tongue, sir. There's a robbery in the courthouse. He's got a gun. Not a robbery. He's got a gun. He's not a robber. Go to the cops! He's there for safety first. He is He's there not... for your safety, sir. Safety? Pointing a gun mm -hmm. at you, of course. He didn't point a gun at you. He was just... He not... got a gun. Look. Yes, I took the gun out when you stepped up on the top of the bench. Exactly. I take all threats serious, sir. No I threaten your anything? Feet... Well, I'm, I'm so I'm an old for man. endangering my yeah. life. I'm you're an old sue man, me and your feet, your, at, your feet were at, at a level where you could have... There's a little thing called... kicked my head. ...judicial immunity, Mr. Dundee. And if I am working under my official capacity, I'm immune to certain things, as you just claimed. He's immune? What the hell? Mr. Oh, Steele! <laughs> yes? Do you understand how expensive that desk is standing on is? I am not standing on any desk. What are you saying uh, to me? Pam, you're being asked to step down from that desk. Get the hell out of here, you monster. Hey, get off that desk. I'm not on a desk. What are you talking what about? The oh hell? my god. Whoa, Sorry. control yourself. You son of a bitch! Miss Miss Chanel, what the fuck is going on? So you went, you pulled the gun on me, but not her. You two, this ain't a playground. I think we've lost now. Mister Sir with the utility belt, what the hell's wrong with you? Get that pistol! Stop popping caps! I think I can finish with my closing statement. My phone slipped, and then I went to catch it, and um, I missed. You punched her in the nose. I well, mean, that makes sense. Well, sir, might I advise the next time you're trying to, to catch your phone, you cup it gently with your hand instead of throwing your, your fist out like some idiot from a damn anime connecting with the nose of the poor, poor individual with the lovely bow tie Can standing right next to you, sir. Are you telling, Big Chief? All right, this court is back in session. Okay. Uh, now, Mr. Dundee, earlier you said it took about 40 minutes for the EMS to completely deal with you, but then just recently you said it took about 20 minutes. So with right. the concussion, is it possible that you're not remembering? I'm just trying to gain clarification from you, Mr. Dundee. You misheard me. I said, you know, a bit here took five minutes, a bit there took 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and then I said all that being 40 minutes. You misheard me. I never said it took a total of 20 minutes. Okay, but I'm just asking with your concussion, is it possible that there are certain parts of your memory that are blank right now? Well, I'd say probably for the first 60 seconds after the crash, or it, it seems apparent to me that I must have been concussed and seeing things a little differently, you know, okay. as you would after a, a big crash, especially if you've taken a car that was previously on the ground four seconds ago to be on top of a three-story building. Okay, are you a medical professional? No, nah, have you been in a car crash? Uh, I'm not the one being asked questions here. Uh... You can't diagnose yourself, sir. You're not a medical professional, so I'm Don't, not sure why you bring I'm up not concussion. a medical professional. Oh, I guess I'm not allowed to say that I have scars on my face. That's the dumbest thing I've heard in my life. I agree. So are All you right. saying that Ooh. I can't assess my fucked up face? Is what you're telling me? I'm not, right. asking, I'm Hold not asking questions. Hold on, everybody. Please. Calm yourselves. I guess I'll need a doctor to now. tell me that I've got scars on my face. All right, hush. No. So... The court has not heard Mr. Dundee actually diagnose himself medically. He has assumed. And uh, the, the court will understand that that is Mr. Dundee's assumption that maybe he bonked his head real hard and doesn't remember right. Okay. Okay, I will continue. Uh, mm -hmm. Mr. Dundee, where were you positioned on the roof when EMS arrived originally in the vehicle? Uh, I was uh, on the top roof and I was standing on the car. Okay, and from that position, could you see and hear the EMS? Yes. Uh, when he was on the ground, yes. When he was on his track and on the ground, yes. Okay, and what did he say to you? He said, right, is there a way to get up there? I said, no. He said, okay, we'll be back with a chopper. And then he came with the chopper and he chopped me face up. That was the last thing I heard. last thing I heard him ever say to me is, I will be back with a chopper. 
Okay. Uh, did you see a doctor at Pillbox Medical after the incident? Uh, I cannot recall if it was locals or a doctor. I believe it was locals. But you did seek medical attention at Pillbox? Yes. Okay, and about how long did that take? Well, what are you, I'm confused what you're trying to say. Oh, why what? About how long were you in receiving medical treatment at the hospital? Well, if I'm seeing local, I think that's a bit of a powerful question if I'm forced to see locals. Yep. Uh, okay. That objection is sustained. That's a bit powerful. Okay. I, I agree. I Thank you, Your Honor. Um, did you receive a skin graft to repair the injuries to your face, sir? Some, yes, by the local doctors. Okay. Uh, did you get a checkup afterwards uh, between then and today's court case with a regular doctor? I was not asked to because the local doctor said I was free for discharge. And this is what I came out as. So you were not asked to, but your face is in... Well, as your own words, fucked up, so you yeah. did not feel it necessary <gasps> to go back to the doctor oh and get God another checkup. Oh my God. Well, the local doctor said this is all I had, so I just went with it. Well, no one said I had to go back. Doctors asked what happened to my face. They never offered anything. Yeah, it's not what I'm asking you. Did you go back, yes or no? What didn't have to, or had been released. You have been released just in the state that you are. So you are comfortable, you're telling me, with having a face that looks like that, as you say. No! You're not going back to a regular doctor to see if there's any type of reparative surgery that they can help you with. Thinking. Mm. Huh? Mm. <clears throat> um, I'm going to jump in here. Uh, and help Mr. Dundee out a bit. That's irrelevant. Good. What I, I don't see what? how it's irrelevant. He's claiming that his, his skin is off of his face and he has done nothing to well, go I'm back to the, the hospital doctor. and see if there's any... All right. I'm Hush. speaking, sir. Okay. And, and go back I'm to the gonna and step me. in here for a moment. Now, in this city, when we go to the doctor and they're released, it is up to the patient that was seen by the local doctor if they choose to go back to the doctor a second third fourth or fifth time now mr dundee has responded to your question several times here in the same way mm -hmm. i think it's time to move on to your next question yeah we need to move on and like i said we all know how the locals treat people in the city we at the hospital the issue at bar here is whether or not your client uh is at fault for the injuries not what mr dundee did afterwards. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, let me move on here. With a lot of people around, actually. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Now, Mr. Dundee, um, did the local doctor or anybody, uh, or even yourself, explain to you how you were going to continue to function and speak normally without lips? Without your top lips, sir? Look very closely. Mm -hmm. All right, that's enough. All right. I'm getting right. her to I'm, say it. Did, that's the end of this line of questioning. Keep your questions around the core of this case, and that is whether or not your client is culpable for the the uh, damages to Mr. Dundee's face. That's true. Oh, Kaden hasn't thought this about that. This is something that, that honestly, uh, Judge LeBar, I need to have a conversation with you afterwards about some training we all need to do. I, I, I noticed these things happen in a lot. Well, Your Honor, it's just that it's hard for me too. You know, it, it's possible that he's faking the injuries. Viking! So I, under I, understand, I understand where you're coming from, but at the same time, I mean, it's hard for me to assess if he's actually properly injured without him, without these questions. So, I mean, if you really want me to move on, I can. I have no problem with that, but that's just my two cents. I'm going to ask you to move on at this point, please. Okay. This is all something that we'll have a meeting about later. Okay, that's fine. Uh, in your statement of claim, you said that your face was injured by the helicopter blades. Is that correct? I swear to you did not just ask me that. That's a yes or no question, Mr. Dundee. Yes, it is correct. The helicopter blades did do this to me face. Okay. 
Uh, was it just your face that was injured by the blades? Yes. Okay. Then why in your opening statement did you claim that your entire head was cut off and had to be put back on? That was a figure of speech, you know? You know, go on a felt You literally rocket. said that. A figure of speech, you know? You said that your head was chopped off and it needed to be put back on. Yeah, well, well I mean, more I represent... Well, the head's just a part of your face, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah so, like... You know, you know, my face is my head, you know? Oh, you're talking about the rectangle, the circle, you know? The fucking pubula. Yeah, no, that stayed attached to my neck. <laughs> okay, Kermit, did you want to finish out these questions? <laughs> She's done. I'm pretending I don't know what a head is. <laughs> hey, how are you? I'm miserable. Oh, okay, well. After what your client did to me. Okay, well. Um, I mean, let's take it in your honor. Uh huh. He doesn't have much to say. Uh, Mr. Dundee, earlier you claimed that. Uh, I'm sorry, earlier did you claim that Mr. Ford's. Uh, that this, uh, was on. <laughs> Excuse me. What? Earlier you claimed that this mistake by Miss, uh, Mr. Ford was unintentional. Yes, he, he he himself even admitted that, yes. Okay. Did you need Mr. Ford to tell you to not place your face in front of helicopter blades? I think you've worded that very poorly, mate. How did I know right, that he, well, he, he, I... he was landing his helicopter very quickly? He was hovering, and then without warning, he just started coming down. I, I didn't know. You know, if he was getting lower, was he just moving around? And he got a bit closer, and then suddenly really close. The next minute, I'm on, you know, I'm, I'm screaming about my face. He okay, got... were you watching the helicopter? Yes. Okay, so you didn't see it coming towards you? I saw it coming towards me, but... I've okay, so why didn't you get out of the way of the helicopter? Because I've been... Michael's... I didn't think he was going to land or thought he was getting closer. I didn't think he was actually going to okay. stop. I thought he was coming to talk to me on what to do. So before, he said he was leaving to get the helicopter for you, correct? Yeah. I, I know it's leading, Your Honor. I apologize. I just want to make sure that's what he said. Yeah, so I uh, knew he was getting a helicopter. Oh, I see the helicopter. But okay, mate, so if he said he was I... going to come and help you, he why didn't... didn't you get out of the way to, so he could land and help you? Because I didn't know I had to. I thought you he was just... didn't know that you had to get out of the way of a I moving helicopter. I thought he was going to go all the way to the right hand side. And on, off, or was under the impression that I didn't have to move. He was going to land beside me, not on top of me. Again, so you saw the helicopter. You heard it. Why didn't you get out of the way of the helicopter if you knew it was coming towards you? I just answered you. I just told okay. you. But you're claiming you decided to stay. Now you're telling me you decided to stand still and under the helicopter and not move. No, I did not say that, you little shit. I didn't fucking say that oh, at all. Your honor, okay? badgering of the badgering of nah, the Nah, you're the, knowing the me, mate. You're There's knowing no... me, mate. Listen, I didn't okay, say that at all. Calm the hell down, everybody. Nah, listen, you're fucking Don't changing you more words. Me, sir. Or, mate, he's changing more. Place. He's changing more words around. Now he's turning right. on purposely. You're trying to sell. I'm trying to get more face hacked up, mate. All right, calm. Everybody, calm down. Now. Mr. DeLaw, yes, you're sir. asking some rather inflammatory questions here, sir. I, I apologize. I'm, I'm moving forward. I, I'm sorry. Keep your questions based in fact. I don't... Excuse me, Mr. Dundee. You may think I didn't see that, but I certainly did. <laughs> I got eyes like a sir. <laughs> Two. Now, I understand that Mr. Dundee can get a little bit riled up, Mr. DeLaw, but that does not give you license to inflame him. Please do remember that at the end of the day, he is a victim here. Yes, Your Honor, I apologize. I was just trying to prove that it, um, Mr. Dundee not getting out of the way of the helicopter makes it more difficult for the pilot to land without hitting him. And then the, the pilot also claimed that he jumped on top of a vehicle while he was landing the helicopter. The point is conceded that an individual in the way of rotor blades of a helicopter might make it difficult for the pilot to land. Oh, perfect. Okay, um, I can move forward. Then do so, sir. Okay. With haste. Um, I'm getting annoyed. Your Honor, I do have a question for you, if that's okay. Why the hell not? Okay. 
So earlier, Miss Chanel's record was brought up. I'm not looking to bring up his past arrest, but I would like to prove um, uh, how many times he's been arrested and for what in the time of his injury and today, proving that it has not uh, affected him at all. No. I Denied. can't do that? Denied. Not affected him? What the hell? Did you Denied. not see the crowd's reaction when I took off the glasses and the hat? We're, we're not going to go down that road. It's not going to happen. I'm kicking that out right now. Hey, Next line of questioning. All right, the no more questions. I'm hearing guns just All go right. out outside. All right, Mr. Dundee. Uh, as I said, because you do not have an attorney here representing you, allowing uh, for cross-examination, the court will hear uh, any points you wish to make to refute any of the uh, ideals that were brought up by uh, either of the attorneys during their direct. All right. So I'm mate over here is buddy going on and saying that I stood underneath helicopter blades, right? And I saw a helicopter. Yeah, I saw a helicopter, right? But I was under the bloody impression that he wasn't going to be landing right on top of me. Just like when you're driving a car and you see a car to set of lights and you're under the impression that just because yours turned red, theirs might just turn green. I'm under the impression, mate, that that helicopter wasn't going to be so bloody dumb and land right there. Right? I'm so it's been made clear that old mate hasn't made any communications to me. He just pointed out, all of you are missing this point, boss. All of you are going ahead and saying, oh, yes, uh, bloody old mate over there wasn't bloody saying anything. You know, he made it clear that the helicopter came. Yeah, he made it clear that he was getting a helicopter. Old mate didn't make it bloody clear what he was going to do with a helicopter. How am I meant to know what's going on with a helicopter? Have I ever been rescued by a helicopter before? No. So what would I know what he's going to do with a bloody helicopter? I ain't got a bloody clue. All right, very good. I'm just under Miss... the impression, right, that... Is anyone else hearing fucking gunfire? Yeah, yeah. Yep, we're just going to ignore it. Don't worry about it. All right, I can hear that. Don't worry that about it. Sounds real interesting. Metal... The metal detectors uh, automatically close and lock our doors, so anybody trying to get in through here... Uh, we'll find themselves unable to, so you're perfectly safe right here. Please continue. All right. All right. Why don't we move it on to closing statements? We're about to. Are you done with your cross-examination uh... of yourself? Uh... All right, hold on. Uh... Uh, Mrs. Steele, do you wish to redirect? <clears throat> no, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Dundee, you may step down with the court's thanks. Mrs. Steele, do you have any further uh, facts and evidence or witnesses that you wish to call before the court at this time? Uh, no, Your Honor. All Good right. Job, then does the defense rest, it ca rest its case at this time? The defense rests. Very good. Are both parties prepared for closing arguments? Hey, oh, I am. Mm -hmm. We are? All right. Mr. Dundee, you may step forward, give your closing argument. Ladies and gentlemen of this bloody court, I think it's been made bloody clear that that bloke over there hacked up my face with a helicopter. Now all this court's been deciding to ask is whose fault was it? No one has proven that I was in the wrong place. All they can say is that I was near a car. Is that the right place or is that the wrong place? No one told me. Well, I've never been rescued by a helicopter before. Why well, should I know? All he's been able to say is bring in a witness that says, yes, people of his grade should be good at what he does, but turns out this bloody old guy over here doesn't have a clue what he does, because, ladies and gentlemen, get a bloody close-up look at this. Or I have to bring a mask on, because I'm embarrassed. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> my, God. my oh, word. That was hideous. Horrifying. Close-up. What do you oh, think God. of my face? Oh, Would you my date God. a man like this? We've already been through this before. Up, I said man. no, didn't I? Nah. Gas. What about you? you what do you think of my face? Soul. What do you think? Your of face me? looks really poor, man. Oh, you should oh probably put that mask okay. back on right now. Right. Oh, what my do you goodness. think? Please. Huh? What, look at that. Look at that. That's horrible. Right. 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 I can't right. bear Do you hear their reaction, Shauna? Could you hear their reactions? I did. Please direct your closing statement. As you can see, my face is now bloody horrendous. Oh, I have trouble living day to day. Or oh, can't get me dick wet anymore. And I have to resort to fucking wanking. Fucking... Mr. Dundee. What? Watch oh, it's the part of more courtroom, sir. But it's more problem. So, 
As we heard, All Might over here admitted that yes, his helicopter blades hit more face. At no point did he say that he communicated to me what he was going to do with the bloody chopper. At no point did he say, you know, exactly where all should go. At no point did he say that he knew what all was doing. At no point did he mention that this wasn't going to happen. All I was under the impression, all ladies and bloody gentlemen, is that all was going to see a helicopter. All he's been able to argue is that the helicopter has lights and it's painted red and yellow. Oh, bloody hell, that's made it okay now, hasn't it? Well, at the end of the day... More faces screwed up. They haven't been able to prove that I was in the wrong. And uh, you've heard the bloody reaction, eh? Everyone thinks I'm a fucking freak. I'm right, a that's freak. Right. Yeah, yeah, agree with me. I do. I'm a freak. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah he's horrifying. You, you said it. They, they said it. All right. Is that the end of your closing argument, sir? Just one last thing. Just All right. Get it in everyone's head so no one forgets. He admitted that he unintentionally hit me with his rotor blades. Now, he's, all he's been able to bring up is that there's bloody risks, mate. So, if there's risks, you do risks with every job, right? Lots of risks. So why don't you work around them, mate? You knew there was a risk and you still went on with it. I think I fucked up what I just said. Well, why'd you continue? You knew it was dangerous. You knew that you couldn't speak to me. You knew you were the only one on duty. You knew you, 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 it was dangerous and you could harm me. And you refused to communicate with me. You refused to wait till someone else, you know, got on duty. And bloody, you, you just went for it, mate. And you fucked it. <gasps> <gasps> oh, so now I want to live the rest of my, my life. Word. I want to live the rest of my life looking like this. You wanna, how would you feel if you looked like this? A face like if this was your face, bob, I would probably do a handstand and walk around that way. Exactly. Anyhow, uh, are you done with your closing statement, sir? I want one million dollars for his fuck ups. The court has heard your request. Done. Hey, hey, well, now Steel? resume putting a mask on my face so no one will laugh at me. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, fucking cheers. A million dollars? Is that it? Okay. Ah, in today's case, Your Honor, you heard several confusing factors coming from the plaintiff and his witnesses. First, there was an attempt to claim that I'm Kiki was near this. him. Then she was in the canals. Then she jumped off the roof into the canals, etc. He claims that he was on top of the vehicle the entire time and at first stated that he didn't know there was a helicopter or that he even, or I'm sorry, or that he didn't know that Mr. Ford was going to, what he was going to do with the helicopter. However... It has been made clear to the courts today that the helicopter is loud. It is big. It is yellow. It has flashing lights. Mr. Dundee may claim that he didn't know what to do. But absolutely no one told Mr. Dundee to stand on top of a roof of a car in a place that is already dangerous to his person, placing himself in front of the helicopter blades intentionally. You're out of your mind had no time to react in such a serious situation and was only doing his job, period. It was Mr. Dundee who put himself in this situation. Mm, it was Mr. Dundee bollocks. who jumped on I top of that roof read. with Ms. Chanel. Mr. Ford has been dedicated to his job for over a year and has served this city proudly, and I will be damned! <laughs> His duties in saving lives and helping the city is tarnished by a man who claims he didn't know that landing on top of a roof that didn't belong to him would put him in harm's way, even whilst being rescued for his mistakes. Mr. Ford made himself clear when he said he was coming back with a helicopter. It is due to Mr. Dundee's negligence for his own safety that he is disfigured as he is now. Are you going to care about losing <laughs> this ball? I got so close that to is winning absolutely and bombs. I'm going to care if I lose. <gasps> Charlie, baby. <gasps> Hatch, keep it down over there. All Shut right. up. I am going to forego the rebuttal because uh, I'm pretty sure I know what will be said. So we're going to forego the rebuttal. I'm going to put this court into recess, everybody. We've been here for a couple of hours now. Stretch your legs, get a glass of water, get something to eat. I will be uh, conducting deliberations in the back. 
and I will put out an announcement when I am ready to render my verdict. I will be rendering a verdict on this case. That the hell, where y'all going? <laughs> Sorry, Shaga. to freaking actually put it in recess. Sorry, Shaga. <laughs> all right. I'm sorry, you're God honor. in heaven. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna like have all y'all in the courtroom and teach y'all about courtroom etiquette at some point. Please it's do. ridiculous. Anyhow, I will put out a state announcement when I'm ready to render my verdict. I will be rendering a verdict on this today. I will not be continuing it and considering it over multiple days. Of that, you have my word. So, like I said, stretch your legs. Go ahead and, you know, uh, get something to eat, get something to drink. Don't go too far. And please uh, be prepared. Watch out for that state announcement. And when you see it, come on back here for me to render my verdict. Am I understood? I bet. Right. Choose big chief. Yeah, nah. All right. Very good. This court is in recess. I need ball of shaga. All right. Everybody's uh, seated, Your Honor. Yep. Yes, got right, some very good. Uh, I'm calling this court back into session. And I have my verdict in front of me. We have lost. All right, this verdict comes in a few parts, so uh, bear with me as we go through all of them. <clears throat> this court today does find that uh, Mr. Dundee's face uh, He's gonna has say, but... suffered a level of uh, deleterious damages to but it. But it's uh, not that, his. Uh, but were in fact caused by the road blades of an EMT helicopter. He's got to say, but. This court also finds that the helicopter itself uh, oh. is the proximal cause of those uh, unsightly uh, gashes to uh, Mr. Dundee's face. But what this court is not able to find at this time there is, it is. We've that lost. Mr. Ford should himself be held financially culpable. We've or lost. Be held to blame for Told this issue nigh. with Mr. Dundee's face. However. Mm -hmm. Because this uh, this damage and uh, this disfigurement was caused by an EMT under uh, the the guise of his duties, the uh, damages to Mr. Dundee are covered by the Victims Relief Fund uh, that the city has set aside for, for just such an occasion. And because of that, today I'm going to find for the plaintiff in the amount of $20,000 from the victim's relief fund for his pain I'm and suffering. I'm still in debt! <laughs> I'm also That's finding zero dollars. Uh, that the state will pay no. for any and all I'm in reconstructive debt. efforts. I'm in debt! Mr. I've won zero dollars! Uh, with a physician uh, out of Pillbox Medical. So, uh, Mr. Dundee, uh, any bill that is acquired, please allow, please let us know, and the state will they be paying for that uh, out of our own pockets. I'm in, I'm in debt. Uh, Your Honor, I have a question. I'm in right, debt. Hold on, I'm, I'm not quite. I'm, I'm still quite lost. I've won nothing. What we have, what what uh, the court finds happened today was a uh, lack of communication between uh, the uh, the pilot uh, who was trying to conduct his They're duties not give it to as well cash. as Mr. Dundee, uh, who was uh, finding himself in a difficult, if not life-threatening situation. Uh, it was this lack of communication that lent itself to uh, the situation and what can only honestly be described as a very tragic accident. I didn't ask for pain and suffering, Chad. And while we are not dismissive of that accident uh, in this courtroom, Neither will uh, we be holding uh, accountable an individual who, uh, by all uh, by all measures that we have seen in court today, was doing his job as prescribed. The court will not be recommending any type of uh, hmm, punitive Chat, or, or construction other, surgery. Uh, Six hundred dollars at the action shop. be taken against uh, Mr. Ford in any way, shape, or form. Nor will we be uh, recommending any changes in uh, EMT, SOPs, or the like. So, to sum that up, ladies and gentlemen, it was an accident, but the city is going to see Mr. Dundee made whole, and we're going to put some money in his pocket for pain and suffering. And that is the judgment of this court today. Mr. Dundee, please see uh, Judge Labar, and he'll get you paid. Now, Your Honor, you said money in my pocket. Goes to your bank account, Goes sir. to your bank account, That's sir. not my pocket. I, I believe you well, just said that well, money goes in my pocket. It's a figure of speech, sir. Yeah, just like... Mm, no, or no, is figure of no, speech Mr. something Dundee. in the court? 
Now, you had a figure speech at the beginning that your head was decapitated. You were decapitated, yeah. right? How the hell are you still alive? Mm-hmm. Hmm? Don't try it, Mr. Dundee. Now, I would look the other it thing cash. you got to go about right now, Mr. Dundee, is also your contempt of court. I'm thinking of not sending you to prison and maybe just fining you $20,000 for your little outburst earlier. How about that? Oh, that sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> you are not. Mr. DeLaw, Mr. Mr. Steele. I Mr. Will I, Mr. Dundee. Dundee. I would, I, 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 I would, I would like to award my winnings to another member of my family. It does not work that way. I would, I, Are you I, dead? Oh, I've suffered a heart attack. Uh, <laughs> it must well, go to on. to uh, Ryan Parker. Ryan Parker. He, does not, Ryan Parker. To, you know, his he whole, gets the money. His go he gets it. This is. Uh, yeah, I know. His uh, whole, everything. Uh, all right, so I guess we're going to have to spend uh, all of his property. A twenty thousand dollar one. His cars, uh, everything. <laughs> Yeah. Hold it all in trust. Does he have Man. a will? Um, have I'm not there. Uh, no, it was, it was, it was just, uh, it was hot burn. It's all good. Mr. Just... Dundee, if you come oh. over here and hand me your ID, please. Uh, uh, you... All right. Yeah, oh, okay. yes. Okay. Uh, I have to go get it from yeah. my apartment. So um, my okay. return. Do you know your bank account number? Uh, no. Hold on. Let me just come. Uh... It's 27. <laughs> I got it for you. No, I'm going to go it. and get it. Mr. Dundee, come back here. Well, I'm going to go and. Mr. Dundee, unless you come over here. Your Honor, um, well, I'm as a tax to, uh, payer, um, get I'm my ID. Listen, we don't have time for this right now. Oh, I would Dean. like to so, bring my ID. Um, you want me? You want to bring your ID to me? Yes, I, I will be as soon as possible. He doesn't okay. need it. If you don't return, you don't get your money right now. You return with that? an ID. With your ID, Mr. Irwin Dundee. So one if it's... that says <laughs> Irwin Dundee, not Gaza. Julio. How do you know I'm Irwin? I, I could be I born. You filed the case, Dundee sir. Because you filed the case, Irwin. <laughs> so there's no, so I can't get that money in cash. Oh my god, no. And plus, Just, it can't do, be do rewarded we like to we anyone have else. A vault full of money in the back of the courtroom, Irwin. Yes. Um, really? Yeah, right, I don't think he wants the money. I guess. Uh, I my my money ID is uh, 22. Him. My ID is 22. Um. Your Honor. Uh, mm -mm. Um, as a taxpayer, I'm concerned because we have under 300 million. In Mr. Our Dundee, yes. I, I want your identification Mr. card Dundee's in front of me, face, sir. Not anybody else's. Has. Well, that's and the nice this thing point, about uh, government health care is uh, the doctor's going to charge whatever we tell him to. You well, don't I? want the right. money, sir. Oh, okay. Thank then you. just say it, and we You're won't welcome. award we, you the money. We got the money is yours. To be rewarded to someone else. It doesn't work that way, Mr. Dundee. We don't write checks to other people because you are authorized us to. So this you... goes to your bank. One more time, Mr. Dundee. Can you get it through your thick skull? Or whatever's <laughs> left of it. What do I need to bring? Your yes. I yes, D. Thank you. Yours. <gasps> oh, God. Why you're walking around here without one on you is beyond me. What great entertainment. I'm glad I came down. Pepe heads. Right, we're glad to have you. All right, for everybody else, uh, this court Pepe is adjourned. Pepe heads. Uh, Bye, Mr. Uh, uh, should have seen his opening statement. Yeah. Oh, I can't. Uh, Pepe heads. Uh, do I have enough money to get a new ID? <laughs> Fuck it. I'll just pay for one. Uh, how to win, but still lose. Every case that I win, I still always lose. I always lose every case I win. Because whether it's a low amount or I, it's it's debt. Pepe hands. Should have stayed out of debt. Why Avoid all that role play for for 20, oh. Cray. Look whose ID number is 22, Judge Art. <laughs> wow. This gentleman's guess. right here in front of me. And that's uh, who Mr. Dundee wanted me to give the money to. I'm oh, really? Like the dollar. Very interesting. I would like, this is my account manager, and I would like for him to manage my we funds. We do not give That's the not... money to your account manager. Uh, Dundee, How it I works, Mr. That. Dundee, is the money goes to you, and then you can take that money, and you can give it to him, or her, or him, or me, or whoever. Well, but it goes to you first back. How for record-keeping. Exactly. We can't have the because auditor asking us Because then you can come back and sue the court saying, hey, guess what? I never got my money because it went to account number 22, Mr. Ryan Parker. Uh, yep, that's uh, what me. if I sign an agreement in contract saying that I gave it to Ron Parker? No. 
It doesn't work. Again, it doesn't work that way, Mr. Dundee. Government audits don't give a damn about contracts, sir. Uh, what if I die right just... now? <laughs> oh, thank you, Your Honor. Um, You're welcome. I'm going to frame this dollar. I hope you frame it. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Dundee, Do we, if you show me your ID, sir. Has the court just seen proof that the court can very well give money to other people? I gave it to him because he did a service here, sir, and he showed me his identification, and it went to his bank account. Listen, Mr. Dundee, I know what you're trying to fucking do here, and it's not going to work. <laughs> Shut up, for fuck's sake, I'm, I'm 50 grand in debt, and I don't plan to get out of debt. Oh, God. Oh, what do you know? There you go, sir. Is there anything out the court can do for you here today? Have you got a smoke detector or smell the smell of uh, money being burned? Really? How yeah. so? Because I ain't clearing that fucking debt. Good boy. <laughs> yeah. It's funny because we now offer debt relief. Wow. Why did you. How are, How are you doing, doing? sir? Uh, no, Pretty no, good. No, 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 I, I believe We're I was next here. in line, Have sir. Nice oh, come on! Enjoy the sunglasses, you mm -hmm. asshole. Yeah. Fucking call me an asshole. Oh. Mr. Don D. Is that all you... <laughs> yeah. Weapons license. Okay, sir. There he goes. He's there for a weapons ID. license. Oh, God.